Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. People at Marvel, join the group chat. Chapter 51. At the same time, inside the Coast Villa, Tony took off his protective clothing and walked out of the genetic laboratory with a somewhat depressed expression on his face. There must be something wrong. J-A-R-V-I-S. There is indeed a special connection between Carol's serum and the Tesseract isotope, but I can't find it now. Sir, I will recheck the experimental process and find out the relevant points as soon as possible. Single quote. So much the better. Tony nodded deeply. I have been boasting in front of that guy, but it has been half a month and there is still no progress at all. If we don't get some results, your boss and I will be laughed at by this guy. Maybe this is also a test, sir. Single quote. The fart test. Tony rolled his eyes. Forget it, let's not talk about it. Have you passed the fully automatic assembly of the armor model? The verification has been completed and is currently being installed. Fully automated testing is expected to begin tonight. Single quote. Already installed. Tony's eyes lit up. Okay, I won't sleep tonight and I'll ask you to complete the test of the armor. Sir, with all due respect, you have not slept for two days and two nights. If you continue to stay up late, it will damage your body functions. Single quote. Quote dot 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 quote. Tony smacked his lips, but I feel quite energetic. Having said this, Tony looked down at the reactor on his chest that had been brand new. J-A-R-V-I-S, do you think it has something to do with the new core? The exact cause is unknown, but the possibility cannot be ruled out. Single quote. Tesseract. Tony turned and walked towards the workbench, looking at the series of projects projected in front of him and lost in thought. J-A-R-V-I-S, do you think the Tesseract will be in shield? Theoretically, yes. Single quote. 2. Tony raised his hand and touched his chin. If you're right, he retrieved the Tesseract alone after World War II and studied it, so that's why I have the new elements I use now, and he is inextricably related to shield. Quote. Since the Tesseract was not left to me as personal property, it can be in shield. Doesn't staying in shield mean staying in the hands of Hydra and the Skrulls? This thing is so dangerous. Is it okay to put it over there? He didn't believe that Moyu didn't know this. But I haven't seen him make any special moves for so long. Tony said he couldn't figure it out. Why do you care so much about Tesseract? The main reason is still because of the new elements and Carol's serum. Both of these are most directly related to Tesseract. If he can get the Tesseract, maybe he can find this connection between the three. There will definitely be major breakthroughs in the experimental process. Sir, someone is here, it's the black brazed egghead who hacked me last time. Single quote. He wants to hack in again. Tony raised an eyebrow. Yes, but I stopped you, sir, you are really smart. Single quote. Ha ha, Tony immediately laughed. The same trick can't work on me a second time. Let him in. It just so happens that I also have some questions that need to be verified. The last time J-A-R-V-I-S was hacked, someone entered the house inexplicably, which made Tony very unhappy. After learning that the other party might be from Hydra, he became even more unhappy. This is one of the reasons why he upgraded successive J-A-R-V-I-S. It's not like he was stimulated by the great sages Moyu and Rimuru. Sir, the other party is suspected to be a Hydra member. Is it safe to let him in? Do you want to activate the emergency counterattack system? Single quote. Tony thought for a while and nodded in agreement with J-A-R-V-I-S's proposal. Activate, but don't mess around without my order. Understood, sir. Single quote. After the words fell, the door of the villa opened. Nick Fury walked in from outside with a dark face. It's hard for my people to see you. Do you want to open the door until I come in person? Since the last accident in Harlem, Phil Coulson wanted to ask Tony about the situation, but he was rejected by Pepper for half a month. Tony didn't go to the company at all. When I came directly to the villa, I was left hanging out with no one paying any attention to me, and I couldn't even get in. Nick Fury, who was extremely annoyed but helpless, chose to come in person. Ha, huh, Tony curled his lips. I'm very busy and don't have time to meet any of the guys. Isn't it because of that Superboy group that you came to me this time? Especially knowing that Shield is approximately equal to the present of Snake and Shield. 
If he hadn't wanted to get a set of information about the Tesseract from Nick Fury, the other party wouldn't have been able to get in through this door. It's the Avengers project, Nick Fury corrected him in a deep voice, and then said, we won't talk about this today. I'm here to get information about a person. You should know him better. Hearing this, Tony paused slightly while pouring the wine. You're looking for information from me. Is it about Moyu? Sorry, you found the wrong person. I don't know him at all. You should go directly to the Empire State Building to find him. Don't tell me you don't even know this. Quote dot 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 quote. Nick Fury, who was choked by Tony, sat on the sofa with a dark face and said unceremoniously. Our people went there, but to no avail. His men couldn't even get up to the Empire State Building. In other words, even if they go up, they will be teleported to the first floor in an instant. Let alone see Moyu, they can't even see the door. The other party made it clear that they didn't want to deal with them. As for the strong attack, although his methods are tough, he is very clear about the pros and cons. Pushing the other party to the opposite side because of something bad in Harlem. To provoke a mysterious magician who is elusive and more destructive than the Hulk for nothing. He's not as stupid as Ross. It's best if you can establish a good relationship with this kind of person. Even if you can't, don't mess with them. Otherwise, I don't know how I died. Then I'm sorry. Listening to Nick Fury's words, Tony became more and more disdainful of the so-called shield. I only know that the other party is a shareholder of my company or a friend of mine. I can't help with the rest. Are you sure? Nick Fury stared at Tony with his one eye open. He stole top-secret documents and top-secret items from the shield vault. He has become a dangerous person that I have to deal with. Tony, you are an insider, am I right? So, Tony took a sip of vodka, which I did you see. Where's the evidence? Oh, sorry, forgot you only have one eye left. Be careful if I sue you for libel, director. He has proof. Tony knew this, but I just couldn't help but want to tease him. Insider, sorry. He is not just an insider. Those things are now in his laboratory. Confronting Nick Fury's rhetoric, Tony doesn't believe a word of it now. What does it mean to become a dangerous person that I have to deal with? Oh, it means you can still handle it. If you can handle it, why come to him to get Moyu's information? Isn't it just because there is nothing you can do against Moyu, so you can only find a breakthrough from him? What he said sounded nice. Are all Hydra people so arrogant? It seems like it's always been like this. Nick Fury saw the change in Tony's attitude and felt secretly depressed. The last time he came here to see Tony, it wasn't like this. Is it because of the influence of Mo Yu? Nick Fury, who was already dark-faced, had a frozen expression on his face. But now the goal has not been achieved. Maybe we have to change the way. Nick Fury said in a deep voice, Tony, some things don't require evidence. In other words, the evidence is in your chest. Howard is one of the founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. The new elements your father left you are indeed good. I know where it comes from, and that's enough. Listen to Nick Fury say this. Tony's hand holding the wine glass paused slightly. His expression changed slightly. One of the founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. His father, Howard Stark. It was even more outrageous than he thought. He originally thought it was just a cooperative relationship, but he didn't expect that he was actually the founder. So, is this guy planning to play the emotional card? No, 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 this will only make Tony hate the current S.H.I.E.L.D. even more. S.H.I.E.L.D., which his father established as one of the founders, is now occupied by Hydra. Do you still expect Tony to have a favorable impression of the current S.H.I.E.L.D.? The reason for not destroying S.H.I.E.L.D. directly is because Tony doesn't know the innocent ones inside. Everyone in Hydra screams for beating, and he doesn't have any psychological barriers when he kills him. But, innocent, Tony still can't bear to do it. Still have to wait, at least we need to get the white list or red list before we talk. But after hearing the other party's completely shameless words, Tony still couldn't help but feel a little angry. Tolerate, I can't bear it. Boom. The wine glass in his hand hit the table hard. Tony cursed in a deep voice. Since you know this, you should understand that this is my father's private property. You have taken it for yourself without asking. You have occupied this property for more than 20 years. It's enough that I don't take you to court. Quote. Now you have the nerve to use this to try to get me to betray my friends. 
A shameless thief is worse than a robber. Why do you have such a face? Tony had no intention of caring about anything. He almost pointed at Nick Fury's nose and scolded him directly. Nick Fury was stunned. It seems that I didn't expect things to develop in this direction. Tony's prejudice against S.H.I.E.L.D. seems to be far stronger than he expected. What happened here that he didn't know about that caused Tony's attitude to change 180 degrees? It's actually normal. Giving help in times of need and repaying a favor are two completely different concepts. In the original timeline, Nick Fury gave Tony this legacy when he was desperate, allowing Tony to regain his life. So Tony owes S.H.I.E.L.D. After learning that Howard was also the founder of S.H.I.E.L.D., Tony was willing to become a consultant to S.H.I.E.L.D. But what now? Nick Fury's attitude, in Tony's opinion, is that he intends to use this thing that should belong to him to blackmail him into betraying his friends. It's just crazy dancing in Tony's deadly minefield. If you don't criticize, who will you criticize? Watch your tone, Stark. Being pointed at and scolded by Tony, Nick Fury was inevitably a little angry. Tone, Tony curled his lips. I've always spoken like this, and I can't change it. If you don't like hearing it, get out. J-A-R-V-I-S. See you off. As soon as he finished speaking, Tony threw away his hand and walked towards the basement. No more information about Tesseract. And just prying around. Tony was convinced that sooner or later, that thing would fall into Mo Yu's hands. When the time comes, just have the shamelessness to rub it in. I did a lot of useless work today. If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have let him in, it would have affected my mood. Dealing with someone who might be Hydra, and such a completely shameless guy. Tony said he was disgusted. Mr. Nick Fury, please leave as soon as possible, otherwise we will prosecute you for breaking into someone else's house. After hearing the order from his booze, J.A.R.V.I.S. began to chase people away and dealt a heavy blow. Nick Fury looked at Tony's leaving figure without saying a word. Shaking off his windbreaker, he turned around and walked out of the villa. His face was extremely calm, but he didn't know if his lungs were in good condition. Don't explode. Nick Fury returned to the helicopter with his eyes closed and his brows furrowed. Although they parted on bad terms today, it could even be said that they had completely fallen out. But he still verified a lot of information from this short conversation. That mere unfinished research was not enough for Nick Fury to come to see Tony in person. Even if Tony completed that research, all he got was a new element. Fortunately, the Tesseract is in their hands. That piece of research is unimportant in comparison. More importantly, the serum belonging to the Skrulls and Carol was inexplicably stolen in the top secret area. That's the real priority. Before, I only suspected that it was related to Mo Yu. But now this possibility is undoubtedly firmly established. Not only is it related to Moyu, Stark is also an insider. Even, he himself was involved. Go back to headquarters as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. The helicopter took off and returned to Washington as quickly as possible. Nick Fury is completely insecure now. Moyu's unscrupulous behavior made it difficult for him not to suspect that the other party's next target was the Tesseract. The serum has been stolen, and it looks like it can't be gotten back. But the Tesseract cannot be lost again. We must seize the time to move to a more top-secret place. That's unlimited energy. Who knows what the consequences will be if it falls into the hands of the other party. You must know that Carol's ability comes from the Tesseract. The opponent has now obtained the serum. If even the Rubik's Cube falls into the opponent's hands. Just in case, just in case. What if the other party used this to replicate Carol's method of gaining power? Nick Fury had no idea what a disaster that would be. Get rid of Nick Fury. Tony originally planned to carry out a fully automatic armor, which was the actual performance of the Mark VII armor using a laser guidance tracking rapid deployment system. But the group, which had been quiet for a long time, suddenly became lively. Traveler Ying. At Quan Min, everyone, I'm in big trouble here. Traveler Ying. Good guy, I was planning to find a place to eat, but as soon as I went out, the sky and the earth changed color. According to the soldiers next to me, it seemed that a certain fool executive had been released by Morax in Mephista. The old Mephista sealed during the war period. Traveler Ying. It's noon now, but it's already dark. What a big scene. Picture.jpg, picture.jpg.
Almost at the same time, the group members focused their full attention on the pictures that were displayed. It was clearly noon, but the sky was covered with dark clouds and rolling thunder continued to flash. Dense raindrops continued to fall. On the distant sea, more than a dozen thick waterspouts extended from the sea to the sky. Behind them, there were five water snake-like monsters circling and rising into the sky. The originally calm sea became rough and dangerous. It looked like a disaster was imminent. Pioneer Star. Gee, it's so big. It's indeed a big scene. How big was this so-called old Mephista? Iron Man Tony. There are not many reference objects to accurately measure, but the visual height is at least between 300 and 500 meters. Pioneer Star. Compared with this old Mephista, the creation engine seems to be a few sizes smaller. Kamigawa Warrior Moyu. Strictly speaking, what is visible to the naked eye is just the part of Mephista Osel of the Whirlpool. Its true body is still hidden underwater, and it has a total of eight heads, with an overall length of about more than a thousand meters. Slime Rimuru. Hiss, kilometer-long Mephista. It's so big. Show it. Start the live broadcast. Start the live broadcast. There's nothing more exciting than going to see the pictures with your own eyes. Traveler Ying. You really don't think it's a big deal. If this thing lands in Liu Port, what a disaster it will be. Have you never thought about it? Iron Man Tony. Don't worry about that at all, okay. Isn't the rock god not dead at all? Since this guy was suppressed by the rock god more than 2000 years ago, he is probably no match for the rock god now. But since the rock god has not appeared, does that mean there are still people in Liu Port who can handle it? This Mephista from the old days exists, so it's not the rock god's turn to take action himself. Slime Rimuru. That makes sense, don't worry too much, Ying, it will be fine, start the live broadcast, start the live broadcast. Trailblazer Star. I also think there should be a backup plan. There is no need to worry so much. Get melon seeds and coke ready and watch the show. It seems so. At the edge of the pier, Ying Mei held an umbrella and thought for a moment, then nodded. What the friends said is correct. Since this thing was suppressed by the Rock King during the Mephista battle formation, how could it be the opponent of the Rock King now? Maybe, the Immortals can solve this matter. Ying Mei doesn't know what the other Immortals are like, but Mandrill is indeed quite strong, at least much stronger than her now. Looking at Qunyu Pavilion, which was already drifting towards Ogzir, Ying Mei decisively opened the live broadcast room. Jian Ying Mei started a live broadcast. Rimuru, who was bored, was the first to enter the live broadcast room. Mo Yu followed closely behind. After saying hello to March 7, Xing returned to the room with Guazicola and followed him into the live broadcast room. Tony simply dropped the idea of testing the Mark 7 and focused on watching the show. The group members gathered together again. It feels very oppressive. Looking at Osul in the distance with his own eyes, Rimuru smacked his lips, isn't it like I can't beat this thing now? Although he defeated the pig-headed emperor, the guy in front of him was not at the same level as the pig-headed emperor. With his current strength, I'm afraid he won't be able to fight. It's indeed quite big. Xing looked at the melon seeds for a few times and said with an indifferent expression. But it seems like he's just a little bit bigger. Quote dot 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 quote. Tony watched this scene quietly, but the idea of building a giant armor became more and more intense. Thinking about what might happen next, there was a little anticipation in his eyes. He turned to Mo Yu and asked, will we be able to see the battle between gods later? I guess so. Mo Yu turned around and looked at Ying, who was waving towards them, and said a little uncertainly. Not only his world line has changed, Ying Mei's side has also changed. Ying was originally supposed to be in Qunyu Pavilion, but now she is watching a show here. The tracks became too many. I don't know if it's good or bad. Without Ying, the transfer station that carries the power of the immortals, just smashing a group of jade pavilions, can it really force Osul back? I guess it's a bit confusing. Maybe we can see the old man taking action himself this time. I'm inexplicably looking forward to it. Xing, you've gone too far. You brought your own recliner, and you're also eating melon seeds and drinking coke. Ying Mei pointed at Xing who was lying leisurely watching the show with melon seeds in her arms and coke in her hand. Just passing the time, Xing shrugged, with a smile on his face. I can't share it with you in the live broadcast room. It's not that I want to eat alone. Red envelope, 
red envelope. The corner of Ying Mei's mouth curled up. Wouldn't it be better to send it to me in a red envelope? Don't tell me you don't want to share it. Eye to head. Rimuru also turned around. There is also mine, I want to share too. Quote dot 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 quote. The corners of Zing's eyes twitched and he said helplessly, Okay, wait. As he finished speaking, Xing handed the melon seeds and cola beside him to Ying and Rimuru respectively. Fortunately, she prepared a little more, otherwise it wouldn't be enough. Tony, don't worry, do you want it? Forget the coke, give me some melon seeds. Tony nodded with a smile. Same, Mo Yu laughed. A group of people were lying on deck chairs, eating melon seeds and drinking coke and watching this big movie. It was called Leisurely. The girl next to her had itchy teeth. Why is she the only one who needs to hold an umbrella and still stand? Not fair, not fair at all. Seeing Ying chatting with his air friend, again, Paimon next to him scratched his head. Ying, should we do something now? I always feel so panicked. It's okay, we don't need to worry. Ying Mei shook her head slightly, and then used elemental power to condense a stone lounge chair and stone umbrella. At the same time, put melon seeds and coke on the table. Paimon, would you like some? Quote dot 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 quote. Paimon was completely stunned. Ying, isn't it bad if we do this? Liu is facing a disaster, so they don't want to help. They are still lying here leisurely watching the show. Will he be beaten to death? Ying, if we do this, we will be beaten to death, right? Looking at Ying Mei who was already lying down, Paimon looked around guiltily, his heart full of worry. If someone sees you like this, you will definitely get beaten, right? Don't worry, there's no one here. Ying Mei breathed a long sigh of relief. Don't worry, I'll give you a thorough examination. Emperor Yan Wang is not dead. Ha, huh, Paimon's eyes widened. Not dead. But, didn't we see the fall of the Rock King Emperor at Yujing Terrace with our own eyes? Fake death, fake death. Ying Mei smiled and shook her head. Although I don't know what is going on here that we don't know, the only thing I know is that the Rock King is not dead yet, don't look at the merrymaking of Ossal on the sea. That's because no one has beaten him yet. That's it. Paimon seemed to be relieved and asked curiously, are these also what your, air friends, told you? That's right. Ying Mei shrugged helplessly. Although he had already talked to Paimon before, Paimon was still dubious. She said there was nothing she could do, and Paimon said it was okay. Then I'll try my best to eat some. Paimon, who was already a little greedy, couldn't care less about anything else at the moment. He squeezed directly next to Ying Mei, grabbed a handful of melon seeds and started eating them. Now that things are like this, what can she do? What can she do with only one-fifth of the fighting power of a wild boar? Is it possible for her to challenge the old Mephista? Don't be kidding, her small and exquisite body may not be enough to fill the gap between her teeth. It's better to just check here with Ying. At most, you can fill up on gas and cheer up or something. Seeing that Ying Mei was completely lying flat, the smile on Mo Yu's face became a little weird. Is this really good? However, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong. Just think about it, forget it, Tevat is not his base camp, why bother with so many things? Even if he wants to help, he can't help now. After all, the chat group has no mission options and no options to travel around the world. How to help? So far, apart from the Jade Pavilion floating in the sky, there doesn't seem to be any masters appearing. Tony, your idea just now seems a bit inaccurate. Looking at the Jade Pavilion facing Osal alone in the sky, Rimuru expressed some doubts. Without the big boss taking action, can the two of the seven stars and those human soldiers really defeat the old Mephista? Don't all masters appear last? Showing no panic. Maybe we can't tell even if we check the situation now. As soon as he finished speaking, several streaks of light flew out from behind and landed steadily on the Jade Pavilion. Here, look, it's coming. Seeing this scene, Tony immediately put on his glasses. The show is about to begin. It's a pity. Xing, who was holding a straw in his mouth, joked, I can't participate, I can only watch. After all, it's not interesting. Mo Yu raised his eyebrows. Oh. So, you want to have it? When did Xing become a militant? Well, Xing looked at Osul in the distance and shook his head silently. It's just a talk. Even if you let me go, unless the star core explodes again, I won't be able to do it no matter what, right? 
This kind of enemy is beyond the standard. Indeed, Rimuru nodded in agreement. Maybe I can fight after I evolve from the Demon King species to the Demon King, but now, I can only barely be B at best, right? After Rimuru finished speaking, he looked at Moyu. By the way, what about you, Moyu? Can you handle this old Mephista? Same question. Xing also expressed curiosity. As the most mysterious guy in the group and the one who knows the most things, his strength cannot be said to be weak, right? Stronger than all of them, that's probably a fact. I think it's okay. Before Moyu could speak, Tony took over the conversation. This guy is so physically strong that there is no way to detect it, and he can also control a terrifying rough stone that is so powerful that it can destroy a planet with just one blow. His own the power can be imagined. Ha, huh, Rimuru's eyes suddenly widened. Can you destroy the planet with just one strike? Humanoid Doomsday Beast, or Humanoid Star Destroyer. Zing's eyes twitched. As expected, Ying Mei secretly smacked her lips. I knew you were a pervert. It's not that exaggerated. Mo Yu rolled his eyes. Don't listen to his nonsense. He already said that he relied on the Power Stone. I can't destroy a planet instantly just by relying on my own strength. If there is enough time for him to activate Dharma, Heaven, Elephant and Earth, it is not difficult to explode the planet with a stick. But it is a pity that in addition to the Power Stone, there is currently no other energy source to support it, so it cannot be started quickly. At most, you can only activate the giant mode independently. The energy required by FATN Shangdi is too terrifying, and the skill forward swing is too long. Just think about it. Practical application is impractical. When top players compete against each other, every second counts. That idiot will wait for you for a minute or two in the middle of the battle to save energy and use your ultimate move. Unless you let him accumulate energy before starting the battle. Moreover, not only does it require a huge amount of energy to activate the FATN Shang Earth, but the energy required to maintain operations is also extremely terrifying. In theory, it can last for about 10 minutes, but in actual practice, it is unclear. Hearing this, everyone was stunned. Backquote, wait, Tony's eyes widened even more, you said, instantly. Does that mean you can do it as long as I give you time? Without the help of the Power Stone? Probably. Mo Yu shook his head lightly. Hiss. Tony gasped. I have tried my best to preset the upper limit of Mo Yu. But the destruction of the planet by individuals still exceeded his expectations. Lee's good you have to know for hundreds of years. You are completely a pervert. Rimuru couldn't help but complain. Does this count as abnormal? Mo Yu turned his head and glanced sideways at Rimuru. In the future, this guy can also target the creator god of his world, which is the Star Dragon King. If you create a complete world, then it has reached the level of super single, okay. Do you have the nerve to call me a pervert? That's right, facing Mo Yu's eyes, Rimuru said loudly, you can destroy the planet casually, what is it if you are not a pervert? At least there is no one more perverted than you in this group, right? That's right, Xing nodded in agreement, it's hard to disagree. Tony and Ina also chose to stand on the same side as Rimuru. Just when Mo Yu was about to retort, a crisp sound sounded in the minds of all the group members. Ding, ding, the world line where the group member, Traveler Ying, is located has changed, and the mission is being generated. Mission 1 hyphenation point destroyer. Target world. Tavot. Mission content. Completely release the old Mephistas, including Osal, who were suppressed by Lord Gaian, kill the rock god Morax, destroy Liu Port, reenact the Mephista war, and lead the world to the line of destruction. Mission time. Infinite, until the world is destroyed. Mission reward. One copy of the origin of the world for all participants in the mission. Participants. All. Mission 2 Savior. Target world. Tavot. Mission content. Kill and destroy all the old Mephistas who were suppressed by Lord Gaian, including Osal, and lead the world to the line of perfection. Note. Do not let the remains of Mephistas wreak havoc, otherwise it will be considered a mission failure. Mission time. 10 hours. Mission reward. A copy of Gulong Power. Seven element rules are optional and will be awarded based on the participant's contribution. The higher the contribution, the more complete the rule. Participants. All. Note. The content of the task will be selected by voting by the group members. You can abandon the vote and give up the task. Looking at this group announcement, Rimuru immediately cursed. 
What's going on? World line change. Is this the point? Stark complained. Mission, mission, this content is too exciting, isn't it? You actually want us to lead a world to destruction. The task is optional and requires a vote by all members, and can even be given up. Tony pushed up his glasses, but there is no doubt that no matter which one it is, it is very troublesome. Judging from the current situation, there are probably only one of us who can complete the task perfectly. Alone, the origin of the world and the power of the ancient dragon, dot who can explain it. Besides, there shouldn't be anyone to choose from, right? Hey, you can't choose one no matter what, right? Ying Mei jumped up from the recliner. Is it okay if I choose mission one? That is inevitable, Xing nodded slightly. We are not devils. We can't bear to watch one world go to ruin, let alone lead ten worlds to go to ruin with our own hands. That's what Nanook wants to do. I'm the unknown guest who opens up a new path in life. Where are you Rimuru? That's definitely. Rimuru nodded without hesitation. It definitely can't be the first one. No matter how good the origin of the world is, I won't choose it. Tony must be act two, right? Nonsense. Tony frowned. What I'm thinking about now is how to complete task two. One is impossible. He is a superhero, how could he do something that only a supervillain would do? But even for task 2, the difficulty is visible to the naked eye. The Mark 7 seems useless in a battle at such a high altitude, right? Moyu, what do you think? Tony, who understood that he would probably only be able to fish in troubled waters and get nothing if he participated in the mission, simply set his sights on Moyu. Me, Moyu touched his chin and said, I'm a bit greedy for the origin of the world. A. Everyone immediately shouted and opened their mouths. Just kidding. Moyu waved his hand. Ying is still here. Why can't I choose mission one? You don't look like you're joking at all. Everyone complained. What if, what if Ying was not here, or if there was a world that had nothing to do with the group members instead of Tavot? Will Moyu choose task one? Okay, okay, let's start voting. Moyu smiled slightly and stood up from the recliner. Be prepared for the battle. Ji Yulong's power is still of some use to me now. I will not give in to the complete one. Although it is still the ability to control elements, it undoubtedly involves rules. The functions of controlling elements and elemental engines in the previous part are almost the same. But the latter rule is Moyu's next step. This cologne power may be used as a stepping stone. After hearing this, everyone didn't think much and silently cast their votes. Task 2 has been generated and will be transferred in 30 seconds. Please prepare everyone. 30 seconds. Except for Mo Yu, everyone was stunned. Then he decisively withdrew from the live broadcast room. Xing immediately found GZ and explained the situation. Rimuru also ordered Xian, then put on a mask and raised tens of thousands. Tony even took off his suit and put on the laser guidance terminal. J-A-R-V-I-S, dress me in Mark 7 immediately. Sir, Mark 7 has not passed yet. Stop talking nonsense, hurry up, I only have 23 seconds left. By the way, tell Pepper that I have to go out for about 10 hours. It's normal that you can't contact me. Tell her not to panic. Sir, the wall suddenly extended, and Mark 7 was pushed out by J-A-R-V-I-S. After sensing the guidance terminal on Tony's wrist, he immediately started shapeshifting his clothes. The main one is fast and smart. No more assistance from robotic arms. The other end, Moyu just told the two little ones to go out, then stood still and waited for the transmission from the group. This is the first time that I have experienced dimensional travel from different worlds with clear consciousness. Oh, no, it must be the second time. The first time is when you come to this world. It's just that he couldn't react at all the first time. Dimension traveling and traveling through a portal are two completely different concepts. He needs serious feelings. Anything that allows him to grab a little bit of inspiration is of great benefit. Definitely, the greater possibility is that he can't feel anything. But what if? Right, at the same time, on the pier of Liu Port, Ying Mei looked up at Qun Yu Pavilion, where formations had been deployed and troops were lining up in the sky, and she silently drew out the edgeless sword. There were only 30 seconds, which was not enough for her to find the Jade Pavilions on the Biyu Yang Fu Sheng Shi platform. But, my power is blocked, I can't use my wings, and I can't fly. 
We can only wait for the arrival of the powerful group of friends. Ying, what are you? Paimon, who was eating melon seeds, took out his edgeless sword again when he saw her. He looked like he wanted to join the battle, and he was immediately confused. Doesn't it mean that there is no need to worry at all? They can just watch the show from the sidelines. Why is it that he is in this posture now, as if he is going to fight Osul? Ying Mei looked back with a smile. Paimon, don't you really believe that I have friends in other worlds? You can see them today. Don't be too surprised. Thirty seconds flew by. Mo Yu felt his eyes go dark, as if something was flowing past him. Before he could react, his eyes lit up and raindrops like beads fell on him. The world in front of me is real, no longer a picture reflected by the soul. Unfortunately, I still can't capture that feeling. Raising his hand and placing it under the rain curtain, Mo Yu felt a little regretful as he watched the drops falling and the raindrops in his palm. The process of traveling through the world is simply too fast, and I can't catch it at all. Is everyone here, seeing these people coming under the rain, the smile on Ying Mei's face became a little brighter. Hi, Star, who was holding Amber, raised his hand and greeted Ying and Paimon. Ah, ah, hello, I'm Paimon. Paimon, who had always talked a lot, now opened his mouth and stared, and responded nervously and dryly. He hid behind Ying as if afraid of strangers. Tony, you look so handsome in this armor. Rimuru stared at Tony, who was wearing Mark 7, with glowing eyes, looking ready to make a move. It's not bad. If you like it, I'll give you a set when the time comes, even though it's useless to you. Tony nodded slightly, then pointed at the mask on Rimuru's face, and said with some confusion. But why are you still wearing a mask? This. Rimuru touched the mask on his face. It's a relic of an old friend. It can also block the breath. After all, slimes in this world are also monsters. I don't want to be misunderstood or even yelled to be killed as soon as I appear. That's true. Tony thinks it makes sense. Okay, let's not talk about this for now. How should we do this mission? We only have 10 hours. Once it times out, the mission will be considered a failure. It's really difficult. Xing frowned slightly. It is said that we want to clean up all the old Mephistas of Mr. Guyan. Does that mean we have to release these Mephistas first? No. Ying Mei shook her head without hesitation. These are Mephistas, and it's not easy to defeat them. If they just want to escape, we can't chase them all over the world, right? Not to mention that these Mephistas have all kinds of weird powers. Who knows if there are any super stubborn ones? If the other party keeps quiet and hides in a place where we can't find it, wouldn't it be a complete failure in the map? It seems to make sense. So, Tony touched his chin and said with some embarrassment, we can only go into the water and enter the seal to deal with these Mephistas. Moyu, what do you think? Me, Mo Yu looked at his right hand in a daze. The purple rough stone was still shining brightly, not dim at all. I don't think it's necessary to go to such trouble. Just follow Zing's method. You go to fight Osul first, and I will set up some magic circles. Then I will use the magic circles as nodes to isolate the entire Yunlai High space, and then apply mirror images to escape from reality. Finally, I will narrow the scope and try to catch turtles in a urn. Isn't it a requirement of the mission that there should be no Mephista residue left? If we kill him in the mirror space, there will be no Mephista residue left in reality, once and for all. Listening to Mo Yu's description, everyone seemed to understand, but looked confused. But Xing reacted and nodded cooperatively. I understand. Anyway, we should go and attack Osul now. Yes, yes. Rimuru also nodded quickly. Then we will go ahead and buy you time to set up the magic circle. I'll just kite remotely. Tony looked at Ossel's huge body and said helplessly. I don't know how much damage I can do before my missiles run out. I hope it's not zero, otherwise it will be very embarrassing. Let's go. After the words fell, Tony took the lead and drove the Mark 7 towards the battlefield. Hello. A pair of batwings spread out behind Rimuru, and with a whoosh, he quickly caught up with Tony who ran first. Seeing this scene, Xing and Ying looked at each other and scratched their heads in embarrassment. One is unable to fly, and the other is unable to fly now. What to do? You guys, forget it, wait a minute. Mo Yu shook his head secretly, raised his hands slightly, and a ray of light floated on his fingertips. 
The golden silk thread slowly formed a seemingly complex but relatively simple magic circle. As the formed magic circle fell on their bodies, Ying Mei and Xing felt light all over, and their bodies slowly floated off the ground. The simplest flight method can last for about a day. By mobilizing your strength and feeling it carefully, you can control the direction and speed of flight. Definitely, the fastest will not exceed three times the speed of sound, you can just control it yourself. Looking at the two people who were a little confused, Mo Yu explained appropriately. Magic, Xing looked at himself up and down, feeling interesting. Even in her world, not everyone can master flight. As a result, Mo Yu raised his hand and drew a magic circle to give others flight ability for a whole day. Xing, follow up. While Xing was curious, Ying Mei had mastered this power very skillfully. A sonic explosion exploded, reaching three times the speed of sound, and quickly rushed towards the battlefield. Hey, how can you fly so fast? Just wait for me. Xing, who has not yet fully adapted to flight, can only try his best to keep up. However, the speed is quite slow compared to Ying. But this is normal. Xing was just a newborn baby whose past memories had already been sent to the hospital. But Ying, emerged from the seal but retained most of his memories and fighting instincts. I used to be a big shot who could travel across the sea of stars. Flight and all, it's a piece of cake. Hey, Ying, don't leave me. Looking at Ying and Xing going away, Paimon was immediately confused. Although she could fly, she couldn't fly very fast, let alone catch up with Ying who was traveling at three times the speed of sound. Paimon, looking at Paimon who looked panicked, Mo Yu chuckled and said, just follow me first. I'll help them fight Osul, so they won't be distracted. Eh, hey, is that okay? Paimon said nervously. Well, I don't be nervous. Mo Yu smiled and said, my name is Mo Yu, one of Ying's friends. Don't worry, I won't eat you, let alone sell you. Then, okay then. After glancing in the direction of Osul from a distance, Paimon slowly floated to Mo Yu's side and said timidly. Don't worry, take it, please take care of me next. Good to say. Um, Mo Yu, can I ask a question? Looking at Mo Yu who was completely motionless next to him, Paimon put his hands behind his back and spoke with some curiosity and some fear. Definitely, Mo Yu nodded. Real, seeing that Mo Yu's tone was quite kind, Paimon felt a little relieved and spoke again. Did you really come to Tevat from a different world? Right, I just heard you say that you want to completely eliminate Mr. Guyan's Mephista. Yes, that's the old Mephista. Can it really be solved? Definitely, Mo Yu nodded without hesitation. The trap has been set, just waiting for the prey to enter the net, and then catch them all in one catch. Um, Paimung pointed at each other. Didn't you just say that you were going to set up a magic circle? Tell me where you are going. I am familiar with Liu Port. No, it's already started. Mo Yu shook his head calmly. I already sent duplication out to set up the magic circle as soon as I came here. It will be set up right away. In fact, it's not even the first time. It was only after he discovered that the power stone can still be used even if it leaves the MCU and made a plan to strangle Mephista. As for why the power stone did not lose its original power after leaving the original world, all this can only be attributed to the magical chat group. A. Hearing this, Paimon was stunned. This has already been arranged. When will it be done? She didn't realize it was good at all. Distance. The four-man team encircling Auxir has arrived on the battlefield. With Rimuru as the main attacker, Yi Xing is the core of the team, Ying Mei and Tony are responsible for destroying the people on the edge. The four of them worked together to launch an attack on Auxir. The unreserved firepower was poured out one after another, and it actually contained Osair firmly. Black Flame, Black Lightning, Black Flame Prison, Black Thunderstorm, Flame Explosion Prison Formation, Water Ice Demon Shot. Rimuru is like an infinite blue bar, with all kinds of skills, all in Osei a few of your heads. Basically, Rimuru is in C, and his skills are so powerful that they are not inferior to Osir at all. Well, the overall MVP, Rimuru. On the road from Demon King to Demon King, Rimuru's strength can be said to be increasing every moment. The growth rate is nothing short of abnormal. Zinrin, this person is still very weak, and after being tricked by you, there is no truth in his mouth. Watching this scene, Tony's eyes constantly twitched as he was on edge. 
Xing and Ying also shrugged helplessly, and then continued to attack to deal damage. Not to be outdone, Tony poured out all the ammunition he had on him without reservation. Although the big head is destined to be taken away by Mo Yu, the strongest among them. But it's good to be able to use it a little more. After all, the higher the damage done, the higher the mission contribution, and the higher the integrity of the ancient dragon's power. No one wants to take advantage of this kind of thing, right? That's a real improvement. After hearing Tony's words, Rimuru just smiled awkwardly but politely, with a slightly helpless expression. After all, his understanding of himself seems to be somewhat inadequate. It's not that he deliberately wanted to hide his clumsiness, nor did he want to deceive his friends. The other end, the expressions of the immortals, Gan Yu, Kei Ching and Ning Guang in Qun Yu Pavilion were a little strange. This group of inexplicable and eccentric people who came from nowhere seemed to have robbed them of their role. But, it should be a good thing, right? HMPH, relying on outsiders to solve the disaster in Liu. Doesn't it show that we and the immortals are incompetent? That's unreasonable. The arrogant Lu Yun took the lead in spreading his wings and leaping into the sky, heading straight for Oxir. Judging from the surging momentum, it seems that he is also mad and wants to output. After all these years, I still have such a bad temper. Xia Yu sighed, stamped her hooves, and chose to catch up in the air. Although Lu Yun was said to be irritable, this guy's pace was not slow at all, and the red light in his eyes was about to take shape. Obviously, the issue of face cannot be taken lightly. Li Shui said nothing and fluttered his wings away. The ideas are probably the same. As for Mandrel, he had already taken the lead in joining the battle group the moment Lu Yun took off and launched a fierce offensive against Osul. Grandma Ping, what should we do now? Seeing the four immortals joining the battle group, Ganyu didn't know what to do for a moment. He could only look at Grandma Ping, who was the only one still staying in the Jade Pavilion. They originally planned to use the final machine to pour out a wave of firepower on Osel, weakening Osel's power first. But now I dare not use it indiscriminately. The battle situation was so chaotic that if Orr was not hit, one of his own would be accidentally injured. That's a big joke. Grandma Ping was silent for a moment, frowned and shook her head. Just do your best and do as much as you can. This game was supposed to be a trap set by the Emperor, and the purpose was probably to test Li Yu. But at the moment, she couldn't understand the situation. These people can't be actors invited by the Emperor, right? It doesn't look like much. But if not, where did these people come from? Ability is even more bizarre. Ning Guang, you are relatively well informed about the news in the world. Do you know all these people? Immortal Miao praised it, Ning Guang shook his head with a smile. Among these four people, only one of them is familiar to me. The other three, I really don't know anything about. Are you talking about travelers? Kei Ching's beautiful eyes narrowed and she said softly, Mon's honorary knight helped Mon solve the dragon disaster. It is said that he came from outside the world. Could these people be helpers she found from outside the world? Everyone was thinking deeply. This possibility seems quite high. But why? Puzzled. North Pier, Mo Yu was chatting with Paimon, and the atmosphere was quite peaceful. But then there was a sound of footsteps. Let the two of them divert their attention from the battle group 5.2 meters away. Under the rain curtain, a figure with his left hand on his back and an oil paper umbrella in his right hand walked from far to near. The person who came here was tall and slender, handsome in appearance, elegant in manner, and of good temperament. Those amber-like eyes gave people an extremely strong sense of oppression. A. Hey, Zhong Li, why are you here? The first time he saw the person coming, Paimon recognized him. Oh, I see, you must be here to watch the battle too, right? It's Paimon. Zhong Li was a little surprised when he saw Paimon not following Ying for the first time, but then he nodded gently to Paimon and said softly. The atmosphere today is very noisy. I really can't stay in the hall calmly, so I can't help but go out and take a look. By the way, Paimon, who is this gentleman? Forehead. Paimon, who is this gentleman? Forehead. Facing Zhang Li's inquiry, Paimon felt numb for a moment and didn't know how to introduce him. Are you saying that Mo Yu is a rescuer brought by Ying from outside the world to kill all the Mephistas of Lord Guyan's past? Will Zhang Li think she is crazy? Normal people wouldn't believe this, right? Sensing Paimon's predicament, 
Mo Yu took the initiative and took a step forward. Mr. Zhang Li, my name is Mo Yu. I have heard for a long time that Mr. Zhang Li is knowledgeable, well groomed, and has a jade tree facing the wind. I saw you today. The rumors are indeed true. Mr. Mo Yu is overly praised. Zhang Li nodded slightly. A little knowledge is not worth boasting about. I wonder what you, sir, can do when you come to Liu Port today. What do you want? After speaking politely, get to the point. Obviously Zhang Li is very curious or worried about Mo Yu, or the purpose of his and the group members' visit. Maybe more of the latter. Purpose. Mo Yu turned around and looked at the battlefield. This is to get rid of the sins of the past and let the world move towards a better future. Isn't that what they are here for? It should be considered a good deed. At least to this world. Otherwise, there is no need to write the task description of the chat group like this. Oh, Zhang Li was visibly stunned and said rather puzzledly, Once Mephista dies, his power will flow out uncontrollably, leaving the residue of Mephista to poison future generations. Does Dr. Mo Yu know this? Mo Yu nodded immediately. I know, and there is a solution, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Hearing this, Zhang Li's amber eyes lit up slightly. Sir, do you really mean what you say? If there was a way to deal with the remnants of Mephista, he would not have just sealed these Mephistas in Lord Gaian. After all, no matter how strong the seal is, it will eventually be broken one day. This is an extremely dangerous and unstable factor. He will eventually leave one day, and the seal he left behind, no matter how hard it is maintained, will eventually be broken. When the old Mephista breaks out of the seal, the people of Liu will suffer after all. This is one of the reasons why he set up this situation. The purpose is to see if Shiji has a way to deal with Mephista every day without him. If Mo Yu really has a way to eliminate the residue of Mephista. He was more than happy to step in and lend a helping hand. Mo Yu understood what Zhang Li meant and said simply. My method is not universal, so I plan to annihilate all of Gaian's Mephistas just once, completely eliminating the hidden danger. Mr. Zhang Li, are you willing to believe it? Dot 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 quote. Zhang Li was silent for a few seconds and said seriously. I wonder how confident Mr. Mo Yu is. Confirmed, Mo Yu slowly raised his right hand, and the violent and restrained purple light flashed away. 10%. Feeling this almost boundless terrifying power, Zhang Li's eyes suddenly shrank. While secretly shocked in his heart, he nodded and turned around. So, I understand, sir, please let me know when you take action. I am willing to help you. Is this agreement or disagreement? Mo Yu doesn't know yet how the contribution of group tasks is determined. After all, the mission is also the first time to start, and it is the first time for everyone. If Zhang Li is involved and everyone's contribution is reduced, does it seem a bit unworthy? He himself was absolutely sure, and the impact on Rimuru would not be great. But for Xing, Ying and Tony, the probability of them being affected is very high. If it hangs up for no reason. It was an absolutely wonderful scene. Mo Yu secretly asked everyone's opinions in the group. But the opinions are surprisingly unified. Since everyone agreed, Mo Yu naturally had no objections. Immediately he said, Mr. Zhang Li, while we are taking action, please trouble me to undo the seal of your excellency Ji Yu Ku. If you, sir, are worried, you can follow our formation. That's fine, Zhang Li nodded slightly, and there seemed to be a smile on his face. You seem to be discussing something very important. Zhang Li, do you also want to go together to defeat the old Mephistas? Listening to the conversation between the two, Paimon was confused. She obviously knew every word separately, but when they were put together, dot why couldn't she understand them? Of course. Zhang Li said with a smile, it's about Liu's stability. If I can be useful, how can I refuse? Paimon, don't worry. Although my strength is not strong, it is more than enough to protect myself. That's it, then I'll feel relieved. Paimon nodded, believing Zhang Li's words. Seeing that Pai Meng believed him, Mo Yu shook his head in silence. Good one I am not strong Morax. If I hadn't known about your record of breaking through the Mephista war and suppressing many Mephistas with boundless slaughter, I would have almost believed it. You must know that during the Mephista war, the place with the most Mephista and the most intense war was Liu among the Seven Kingdoms. The scene was besieged on all sides. As a result, Morax and the Immortals were pushed flatly. The remaining Mephistas died, 
fled, and were suppressed. The strength of Morax is evident. Among the many Mephistas, it is undoubtedly the one that ranks at the top of the pyramids. At the same time, Yunlai High Battlefield, Tony, do you still have enough weapons reserves? It's basically gone, but I can still fight, although there's not much damage. Looking at the empty weapon reserves, Tony responded helplessly. He currently only has 580 energy, which is enough, but the output is not enough. Ying, Xing, can you still hold on? Don't underestimate me, I don't get tired that easily. Don't worry, your will is still strong. Ying Mei, who had already switched to several edgeless swords, didn't feel tired at all. She is very motivated when she gets rewards. He can play for several days without taking a break. And holding Amber in hand and blessed by the will to protect, she will not feel tired. It's just that the output is not enough, which makes her a little distressed. You guys are really hardworking. Also, why is this monster's blood so thick? Rimuru threw out the black flame prison he was holding in his hand again, holding the sword tightly in his other hand, and slashes with black flames also burst out. This guy has used his body to force me through countless skills, but he still hasn't fallen down. Invincible blood cow, you. Or has the blood lock been unlocked? Super hard to beat. Looking at Osul who was injured but still not falling, Rimuru secretly complained in his heart. Although the magic element is completely sufficient, if you keep throwing away skills, you will be mentally tired. Rimuru expressed that he wanted to be lazy. Great sage, I leave it to you. I'll take a short rest. Understood. Enter automatic combat mode. Seeing Rimuru handing over the battle to the great sage, the corners of the mouths of the three of them twitched fiercely. You actually ask the great sage to fight for you. You stinky old man. Have to say, the great sage's control of the battle situation was far better than Rimuru's personal performance. If we say that eight individuals were fighting against Osul before, then after the great sage takes over the battle, it is a group that fights Osul together. With Rimuru as the core of the tactics, the three group members and the four immortals connected their attacks as one, and reached a consensus in just 20 seconds, defeating Osul who was still holding on. The half-body and five heads that broke out of the seal were destroyed one after another, and the body was gradually pulled back by the seal. Suppressing it back into the seal seems to be right now. This is the plan of the immortals. But what Rimuru and his group members wanted was far from that. After all, everyone's task is not to force Osul back into the seal, but to wipe out the old Mephistas of Lord Gion, including the current Osul. Everyone, be prepared and don't resist. While several people were thinking about how to delay time, Moyu's voice slowly sounded in everyone's minds. The final carnival is about to begin. Are we going to start? Rimuru took over the body again and said with a smile, You finally got it, Moyu. Let us wait easily. Sorry. Moyu's voice sounded again. When you meet the local leader, it is inevitable that you have to say a few more words to explain clearly. Understood. Understood. Star God took a deep breath. Then, let's count down, don't worry, we are ready. Me too, Ying Mei also responded. On the dock. Mo Yu looked at Zhang Li beside him and nodded slightly. After understanding the meaning in Mo Yu's eyes, Zhang Li raised his right hand, and a golden stream of light appeared in his palm. An illusory golden talisman gradually took shape, echoing the seal of Lord Gaian. Zhang Li tapped his index finger lightly, and the talisman immediately shattered. The seal of Lord Gaian was full of cracks and completely shattered with a crisp sound. In an instant, several terrifying auras rose rapidly from the bottom of the sea and spread crazily. The already dark sky became as dark as ink. The extremely terrifying sense of oppression can even make one unable to breathe. Enter the Internet Cafe hyphenation point. Mo Yu raised his right hand high, dark energy surged crazily, and a bright light shot into the sky. At the same time, on the Tianung Mountains on three sides of Liu Port and at the end of the Yunlai Sea, six rays of light rose into the sky. With Mo Yu as the core, a huge magic circle was built in the sky that stretched for thousands of miles. Under Mo Yu's control, the magic circle was divided into two, one facing up and the other down. In an instant, it encompassed all the space with a radius of thousands of miles, and almost completely separated most of Yunlai Hai from this world. Before Mephista could react after breaking the seal, Moyu stretched out his index finger. The space first shattered and then stitched together again. 
Drag the entire space separated by the magic circle into the mirror space. In this mission, the real difficulty is not how to kill Mephista, but how to prevent Mephista from escaping, and how to not leave any traces of Mephista behind. Now, these two trouble spots are no longer troubles. The turtle in the urn, where to escape? This this. The immortals who were fighting fiercely were stunned. They already felt bad when they realized that the seal was completely broken, but at this moment, the drastic changes in the sky also made them confused. No need to worry, this is all done with my help. Quote. Emperor. This is the emperor's voice. The immortals present all widened their eyes. He breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, as if he had found his backbone. Although I had guessed early on that the emperor would not be assassinated, let alone die, I was still a little worried. At this moment, I finally feel relieved. Everyone, dinner is coming. Mo Yu's figure appeared in front of everyone, accompanied by Pai Meng and Zhang Li. Are you ready? Naturally, Zhang Li put one hand behind his back and spread his right hand gently. A black robe with a hood gradually emerged, and the lines of the rock element spread on the arms, and the mark representing the rock Mephista solidified behind him. Obviously, they are already prepared to fight. Zhang Li is the Rock King Emperor. Seeing this scene, Ying Mei's eyes twitched slightly and she complained crazily. Good guy, I hid it for half a month. Although I had known for a long time that this guy's identity was not simple, I didn't expect that he was actually Iwagami himself. Don't worry, let's start. The decisive battle will follow. Rimuru waved his hand, and the expression under his mask became serious. There are so many Mephistas. Although most of them are weaker than Osul, they are not easy to deal with. Rimuru, I'll leave Osul to you, can you handle it? Everyone looked at each other and nodded. Yingmei said in a deep voice, just leave it to us. This guy is at the end of his game. If this still can't be solved, you can find a piece of tofu and kill him. Backquote, hey, Tony's eyes twitched. If you say that, wouldn't I have to hang myself on a dog's tail hair early? She probably didn't mention you. Xing shrugged. You guys are probably excluded. Quote dot 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 quote. Tony was immediately struck. I am no longer on the combat power list and have been excluded. Is this more hurtful? See this. Mo Yu didn't say much, raised his hands and pressed down suddenly. The world in front of him suddenly tumbled, and the space at the bottom of Gaian Pavilion was forcibly pulled up, and separated Osul from many Mephistas, completing the division of the battlefield. Mephistas of different shapes showed their original looks. In an instant, many eyes turned to Mo Yu, or in other words, Zhang Li beside Mo Yu. Morax, full of hatred, rage's roar echoed throughout the mirror space. The losers, who had been suppressed for more than 2,000 years, frantically vented their hatred towards Morax. What's more, they couldn't suppress the madness in their hearts and immediately launched an offensive. A, hey, so scary, Paimon, who was frightened by the crazy scene, shrank directly behind Moyu, trembling. Don't worry, Zhang Li, get away quickly, you're going to die, you're going to die, you're going to die. Don't worry, you won't die. Mo Yu raised his left hand and rubbed Paimon's white hair, then turned to Zhang Li and said. Please protect Paimon, that's how it should be. Zhang Li nodded slightly. In a moment, no one can hurt her. This is a great sense of security. After letting Paimon go to Zhang Li's side, Mo Yu took a step forward without any haste. He raised his hand and waved, the dark alloy armor was already covering his whole body, and the dark alloy rod also appeared in his hand. With his right hand clenched into a fist, the battle engine started running, and golden light spread all over his body in an instant. Gigantic mode, turn on. Oh, seeing Mo Yu's figure rise to more than a hundred meters under the golden light. Turned into a giant with golden light all over his body. The group members all raised their heads and showed surprised expressions. Mo Yu, you have become so big. Dot one finger is much bigger than mine. Is this the Dharma? heaven and earth. No, it's just the giant mode. Mo Yu calmly shook his head. The laws of heaven and earth can be called supernatural powers, and they are much greater than this. In a fragment of a broken memory of the super gene of fighting gods and Buddhas. A figure as high as Arasems from the god group is considered the entry-level level for beginners. Theoretically, as long as the energy mana is enough, the entrance level FATN Shangdi can achieve. How can this body, 
which is only over a hundred meters long, be called the Dharma, heaven, elephant and earth. Just don't give yourself any money. A drop in the bucket. No, it's just the level of atomic dust. Compared to us, you are already a pervert. Tony couldn't help but complain. When I fought against Hulk before, it was just for fun. Fortunately, he thought Mo Yu had done something. Gone. Okay, no more nonsense 850, let's complete the task quickly. We have a full 10 hours. We can finish the battle in half an hour. We can spend the rest of the time however we want. Wouldn't it be nice to use it to take a good look around the world? The words fell. Mo Yu took a step forward, and the dark alloy rod in his hand surged in size again. Mephisto was aiming at the attack with a powerful and heavy blow. Boom, there was an explosion, and the space was slightly rippled by the blow. The fastest one, Mephisto, who looked like a rhinoceros, was directly hit by the head-on blow, shattering the rhinoceros horn and half of its head. The broken Beelzebub's body flew out upside down, hit the extremely strong space barrier, and then bounced back. After jumping on the spot twice, it declared that it had lost the ability to fight. There is also a gap between Mephista and Mephista. Mephista is as weak as salt, and can even be penetrated by mortal weapons and cause death. As strong as Morax, magical weapons cannot break defenses, and a reporter gun can create hundreds of miles of islands. Mephista is not a synonym for powerful, it is just a synonym for a group. After clearing away the first Mephista, Moyu didn't waste any time and rushed directly into the pile of Mephistas alone. The dark alloy rod in his hand was swung wildly, turning on the killing mode. Everyone, let's go together. Rimuru raised his hand and shouted, for the power of the ancient dragon, this half-broken Hainer. Fire spear, charge, Shing, who had already lost his patience, was the first to mention Amber and launched a charge. Wind blade, wind blade, wind blade. Desolate star, desolate star, desolate star, dissipate with the wind, turn into dust. Yingmei didn't hold anything back, the elemental power in her body surged out like a flood. Should I shout something too? Looking at this scene, Tony blinked. The arc reactor was running at its limit, and every hit was the most powerful arc pulse cannon. It's a pity that he couldn't shout out because of his overwhelming shame. How old he is, he is not as good as these energetic guys. The other side, the immortals who met with Zhong Li looked at this scene with strange expressions. He wanted to help, but the emperor didn't take any action. It's neither possible for them to move now, nor for them to move now. Emperor, is it okay to let them kill many Mephistas? Mandrel, who had been silent for a long time, asked the question that he had been worried about. After the death of Mephista, the remaining power of Mephista will turn into Mephista residue, causing karma to spread all over the earth, causing disasters, giving birth to evil spirits, causing plagues, and turning the fertile soil into death. Liu suffered from this early in the morning, so the emperor changed his strategy with Mephista to seal them instead of directly killing them. Even so, over the millennia, many yakshas have become entangled in demonic obstacles and died as a result of clearing their karmic obstacles. If all these Mephistas died here Edda, the richness of the Mephista residues would probably turn the entire Yunlaihai into despair. I know you are worried. Zhang Li looked at the surrounding space that was obviously different from Teyvat, with a smile on his face. The space here is not connected to Teyvat, and Mephista's death will not affect Yunlaihai. Don't worry too much about Mephista's residue. Very good. Mandrel breathed a sigh of relief. He held He Puyuan tightly in his hand and said in a deep voice, In that case, Emperor, do we want to join the battle? There are quite a few Mephistas at the moment, but he and the four immortals are a little lower. Although it can't help much, it can at least share some pressure. Zhang Li shook his head slightly, with a solemn look in his eyes. They came here with a purpose in mind, so naturally they won't allow us to interfere at will. We can just wait and plunder the formation. Moreover, this matter needs to be treated with caution. If he heard correctly just now, when the monster in human form named Rimuru started the war, Si Ping mentioned, dot the power of the ancient dragon. This undoubtedly involves the core authority of Teyvat. The matter was so important that even he couldn't help but be very energetic. If this matter is not handled well, I'm afraid it will directly attract the attention of the maintainers of heavenly principles. 
Even though the maintainer has been sleeping for more than 500 years, this kind of incident involving Tevat's original authority may inevitably disturb the other party. It is difficult for the maintainer of heavenly principles to speak, but the person in front of him may be even more difficult to speak. The immense and boundless power that had been shown to reassure him before was still frightening to him until at the moment. If the other party is annoyed and starts a war with the maintainer, that would definitely be a major disaster affecting the entire Tevat. In a battle of that level, it was a question whether he could keep Liu Port, let alone participate in it. There was no room for him to be careless. I don't know where the travelers attracted these horrible guys. It really gives me a headache. It was obviously just a small test for Liu, and the contract with the God of Ice was completed by the way, why did it get to this point? In the current situation, he could no longer close the situation. We can only hope that things don't take a worse direction. Zhang Li's worries were naturally unknown to everyone in the fierce battle. Even if they knew, few people would probably care. Put the rest of the things aside, complete the group mission first, and get the power of the ancient dragon before talking about other things. In four people, no. In the explosive battle between the three people except Tony, Osul, who was already covered in wounds, was already facing the threat of death. On the other side, Moyu, who had turned on the giant mode, was already killing everyone. The battle seems to be gradually coming to an end. Chapter 61 Different from the three people on the other side who only wanted to kill each other. Moyu was fighting the Mephistas, or rather beating them one-sidedly. It is also using the genetic engine to collect various data about Mephista. Although he could use the power of the Power Stone to directly resolve the battle with one punch, Moyu did not do that. Basically, you will first knock it away with a stick, then change the target, wait for the opponent's counterattack, and then analyze and collect data. At first glance, it turned out that the fight was going back and forth. After all, the original inspiration for the elemental engine was a sudden idea after meeting Yingmei. Elemental abilities are common in most worlds. The threshold for this type of ability is extremely low and the upper limit is extremely high. Whether you are strong or not depends on the person. The low-level one can only be used to light a cigarette and burn a piece of paper, while the high-level one can just burn the world on fire. The upper limit of the element engine is far from being explored to its limit, so Moyu will naturally not miss the opportunity to collect data. In addition, these, authorities, originally held by Mephista are also one of Moyu's main observation targets. Any ability involving rules, concepts, etc. is by no means weak. First, collect some data from these Mephistas, and collect as much data as you can before destroying them. After completing the group task, use the ancient dragon power rewarded by the task as a stepping stone to conduct a comprehensive analysis. Once the analysis is successful, he can integrate the power of power into the elemental engine for upgrade. In the future, if you acquire more elemental powers, you can integrate them smoothly. Or simply choose to develop and comprehend it yourself. It can be said that it is completely useless. Why not do it? While it is undoubtedly a torture for these old Mephistas, unfortunately, they are the enemy. Never show mercy when dealing with your enemies. As time passed, most of the Mephistas had lost consciousness, and their broken bodies lay motionless. A few people still have consciousness left, but they are unable to launch an effective counterattack and are basically exhausted. This experiment seems to be coming to an end. Moyu shook his head and gave up the idea of continuing. The experimental subjects were all gone, and he couldn't continue even if he wanted to. The space-time engine starts. Target locked, annihilated. The silver brilliance flashed away, as if in the solidified space, the figures of the Mephistas dissipated like wind and sand, leaving nothing behind. After finishing this side, Moyu turned to look at Rimuru and the others. Tony has completely given up output. Ying and Xing also quit the battle not long ago and became cheerleaders from behind. What remains is an all-out confrontation between Rimuru and Osul. Well, actually speaking of confrontation is not accurate. The main reason is that Rimuru wants to swallow Osul whole, using the glutton that evolved from the predator not long ago to swallow Osul. However, the process was not smooth. After realizing Rimuru's intention, Osul's struggle was unprecedentedly intense. Before he died, he used all the terrifying power he could muster, but Rimuru still couldn't get what he wanted. 
trying to fit each other into your stomach is probably a protracted battle. Just wait for Osul's return of light to end. However, Ogzir's temper seems to be a little more arrogant than expected. After discovering that he could no longer escape from the devouring of Rimuru Glutton, he directly gave up his power and detonated it together with the remaining will. I want to die together with Rimuru. Hey, you're actually playing self-destruction, you wouldn't be such a fool. Looking at Osul's increasingly swollen body, Rimuru stopped as soon as he could, and retreated decisively with the five heads that had been swallowed into his stomach. Although it's a pity not to swallow it whole, it's not completely fruitless. If you want to eat, just tell me earlier. It will all be wasted. Moyu shook his head slightly, raised his right hand and aimed at Bessel who was about to explode and shook it suddenly. Goal. Annihilation. The space where Osul was located was rapidly compressed, and his huge body was crushed directly by the space, and was annihilated into nothingness along with the aftermath of the explosion. Quote, quote, Looking at this scene, Rimuru opened his mouth, but in the end he could only scratch his head in embarrassment. I thought it was okay, but it turned out that I made a mistake in my judgment. What a pity. Mo Yu shrugged. If you had said it earlier, I would have left you to swallow all that pile just now. Maybe Mephisto's soul can replace the souls of 20,000 ordinary people and directly make you the Awakening Demon King. Rimuru now possesses the Demon King species and has the first element to become the Awakening Demon King. In order for the Demon King seed to germinate and become the Awakening Demon King, the second factor is extremely large souls. The souls of about 10,000 or more human beings are enough. Definitely, this is a guarantee. The more souls, the better. Whether the soul, here pursues quality or quantity is a bit difficult for Moyu to judge. In terms of quality, Mephistus' soul is definitely of high quality. Maybe swallowing these Mephistus can really make Rimuru become the Awakening Demon King. At that time, Rimuru's strength will usher in another leap forward improvement. It's a pity that a great opportunity was missed. Ah this, Rimuru was stunned, does the evolution of the Awakening Demon King require a soul? Ha, huh. Moyu was stunned for a moment, then suddenly realized, yes, you don't seem to know this yet. If you want to become the Awakening Demon King, you must have more than 10,000 souls. The more souls, the better. When Rimuru knew about this, it was after the Tempest Federation was attacked and Sheehan died. Rimuru suddenly took a breath, more than 10,000 souls. This kind of thing. Never thought about it at all, really never thought about it at all. Don't worry. Moyu curled his lips and said, I'm not asking you to kill people randomly. The enemy's soul is also a soul. Even if you don't take the initiative to cause trouble for others, there will always be people who come to catch your attention. This is completely unavoidable. You can't avoid it. You can just fight back when the time comes. Collecting souls is completely incidental. Quote. This, Rimuru looked confused. Although what you said makes sense, but... Rimuru, you are different from us. Moyu raised his index finger and shook his head. You have a large group of followers under your command now. You have to think about them, right? Oh, Rimuru sighed. Okay, I understand. I will try my best to adjust my mentality to face all this. But, don't worry. Dotyu who just said this really look like a seductive and depraved devil. Tisk tisk, Ying Mei and Xing smacked their lips in unison. The seductive and depraved demon Moyu. Dot you are really guilty of heinous crimes. Rimuru, it seems that your title of Demon King will be confirmed in the future. Ying Mei patted Rimuru on the shoulder. Especially after you become the Awakening Demon King, your group name will probably be recognized by the group, and then just like Tony, you will become Demon Lord Rimuru. Absolutely not, Limulu's face suddenly collapsed. Compared to the Demon King and so on, slime is indeed better. Xing smiled and said, you can't control this, after all, we can't change our names on our own now. Hey, Rimuru sighed helplessly, feeling a little resigned to his fate. Don't worry, Moyu smiled and said, the Demon King is a bad breed or something. That was a routine long ago. Now, the Demon King is synonymous with cuteness, kindness, bravery, and fearlessness. Really, Rimuru raised his head slightly, his expression slightly surprised. Probably, Moyu spread his hands, it depends on the times. That's it, Rimuru smiled and scratched his head, it's a small comfort. Moyu, our mission should be completed, right? 
Tony next to him looked up at Mo Yu and said, but it seems that there hasn't been an announcement to inform us that the mission has been completed. Are we missing something? Hearing this, Mo Yu took a look at the group and raised his eyebrows. I'll take a look at the formation first. Theoretically, it's complete. After the words fell, Mo Yu released the gigantism mode, raised his hands lightly, bits of golden light flickered, and the magic circle covering most of Yun Lai Hai shrank rapidly, finally falling into the palm of his hand, and then dissipated. The mirror space was also lifted. In a flash, everyone returned to the reality of Teyvat again. The sky was covered with dark clouds, and it was already bright at the moment. The rough sea has also returned to calm. Ding, group mission 2, savior has been achieved, the contribution points are divided, and you can collect the rewards yourself. Oh, it's finally done. At the moment when he heard the group prompt, Rimuru touched his fist and said, it's a big harvest today, I don't know how complete the ancient dragon power I can get. Ying Mei shook her head helplessly. You and Mo Yu are fine, but Xing and I probably won't be. Indeed, Xing also nodded. Tony next to him said nothing. After a moment, he raised his hand slightly, and a ray of lightning appeared in his hand. Guess it, can you just watch it yourself? I can only see my own contribution. The integrity of Ji Yu Long's power is only 5%. You can't be less than me, right? So, Tony chose the thunder element. It's normal. For other elements, the thunder element is more suitable for Tony. After all, electromagnetic force is one of the four basic forces. For ordinary people, it may only be possible to play with thunder and lightning. But in Tony's hands, it's an ability that can move the universe. I'll go, seeing the lightning in Tony's hand, Ying Mei complained. You move so fast, shouldn't we wait for everyone to receive it together? Sorry, Tony spread his hands to apologize. Because he was a little curious and a little bit excited, he chose one. It's pretty good, this fire element. Then Zing's cheers came, and everyone turned their heads to take a look. The other party's body was now shrouded in a thin layer of red light. Xing. Did you choose the fire element? Yes, Xing nodded slightly. I thought that the fire elemental power should be more suitable for me now. After all, I feel good about protecting my destiny. The two should be able to complement each other. Tuanxi proved that my guess was right. Of. Uh. Now, my output should not be weak anymore. Xing, Tony crossed his arms and said calmly. How complete are you? Tell me and let me take a hit. Not much. Xing shook his head regretfully. After all, my output is too small, only 35%. Tony remained silent, seven times his, a full seven times. Well, he wasn't envious at all, not at all. What a coincidence, I'm also 35. Ying Mei raised her hand slightly, and a constantly rotating wind nest appeared on her fingertips. Where are you Rimuru? Me, hearing this, Rimuru scratched his head. I haven't decided which one to choose yet. They all seem to be similar. Is it difficult to choose? Xing smiled and said, Why don't you just choose the one you like? Then I will follow the star and choose fire. Rimuru stopped hesitation and chose the fire element. After all, some of his current skills are related to fire. Without knowing how it will develop in the future, it seems like a good choice. What about completeness? Only 60. 60, still young. Do you want to see my 5% talking? Don't look at me like this. 60 is nothing. I bet that Mo Yu's will be 100%. Rimuru, who felt a little paralyzed by Tony's resentful gaze, decisively turned the topic to Mo Yu. Hearing this, everyone's eyes turned to Mo Yu, who had his eyes closed and was wandering in the sky. Sensing the attention of everyone, Mo Yu slowly regained his mind from swimming in the endless sea. It's wonderful. Mo Yu shook his hand gently, and a drop of crystal colored water appeared in his hand. This power seems to make me integrated with the water veins of this world. I can use the water of the world at my disposal. It's like soaking in a hot spring, no, it's like returning to the mother's womb. There is a kind of physical and mental comfort. Feel. Well, Ying Mei shrugged. The case has been solved, absolutely 100%, the complete ancient dragon power, and it is still water-based. If Mo Yu thinks about it, I guess he can become one of the actual controllers of Teyvat now. Forget it, Mo Yu calmly shook his head. I don't mean that, after all, this is not my world. Although as Ying Mei said, he can do it as long as he wants. 
but it's not necessary. Tevat was not his home base. MCU is. Rather than becoming one of the controllers of this world, it is better to go back and see if there will be any special changes. After all, there is a case of the power stone at the front. Mo Yu guessed that the power held by the ancient dragon power was still universal in the MCU. If done properly, maybe he can borrow this power and become the new Lord of Dimension. A more complete rule. Theoretically speaking, as long as you master a complete world rule, you can divide your own dimensions. Within the dimension, the Lord of the Dimension is the only God. Control everything in the dimension. For example, Dark Dimension Dormammu, Death Dimension Hela. They all stole a rule or mastered a rule. At this moment, Moyu holds the 100% complete power of the Ancient Dragon. Under the control of the chat group, he should be able to benchmark against a complete rule. In the MCU, he can theoretically have his own water dimension. But there is no absolute conclusion yet on whether this thing can work. After all, he hasn't tried it yet. Definitely, even if he could succeed, Moyu would not choose to become the Lord of Dimension. After all, once he becomes the Lord of Dimension, it will almost limit his upper limit. Trapped himself permanently within the framework of the MCU. This is obviously not advisable. What he wants to do is to leave the position of the Lord of Dimensions vacant and mobilize the power of dimensions for his own use. You don't need to think about how huge the energy contained in one dimension is to know. If there is a dimension of force as a support, even if you don't rely on the infinite rough stone, you may be able to independently display the Dharma, Heaven, Elephant and Earth. And the benefits don't stop there. Just kill a bunch of old Mephistas to get these. This wave is indeed a huge profit. I hope there will be more group tasks like this in the future. Thinking of this, Mo Yu glanced at Ying next to him from the corner of his eye. The triggering conditions for this mission are easy to understand. It involves world line changes and is related to the original choices of group members. But the meaning it represents is far from simple. There are many theories about the former's world line change alone. Tevat is undoubtedly a tune that uses fatalism as its framework and then breaks it with the power of external miracles. As the core point, as the heroine of a miracle, her choices will undoubtedly affect the specific direction of the world. Just like this time, with the intervention of the group members, Yingmei did not get involved in too much trouble and became a complete bystander. Without the core of Ying, where would the outcome have gone without their interference? There is only one answer. That ended with Zhang Li taking action. And in this way, Liu's steps moved in a completely different direction from the other world line. A single move affects the whole body. What's more, there is also the uncertain factor of group. It's hard to say whether Yingmei will continue to be the core, solving the troubles in one country after another and leading the world to a certain fixed ending. Perhaps, this change in the world line is the beginning of a complete change in the world line. Whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, Moyu said he didn't know. Maybe I need to find time to have a good chat with Ying. In addition, take Tevat's deeds as an inference. If he forcibly interferes with the direction of the MCU and significantly changes the world line, will the mission be triggered? If he could succeed and make the chat group produce more tasks, wouldn't he and his group friends be able to gain more from the chat group? Thinking of this, Moyu expressed that he was a little moved. The main reason for changing the world line in previous tests was because of its own, gold finger, the progress bar. I want to see if I can speed up the growth of the progress bar in this way. But it turns out, no. The progress bar is still one percentage point per calendar day and is completely unaffected by any external factors. So Moyu gave up the idea of actively changing the world line early. But now, if we can use this to gain traction in the chat group, it seems that taking the initiative to intervene wouldn't be a problem either. After all, it is a trade without capital and profit. Well, you can also discuss it with Tony after you get back. Everyone, I have a proposal. While Moyu was thinking, Rimuru raised his hand and spoke. How about you treat us to a nice meal? I agree, Xing nodded in agreement immediately. It would be great to be able to have for free. Hum, Tony nodded. You have to try the delicacies from another world, I agree. Why me? The corner of Ying Mei's mouth twitched, and she put her hands on her hips and glared at Rimuru. If you want to invite me, it should be you who invite me, right? 
she doesn't have many molas, but if she treats everyone to a good meal, it will cost hundreds of thousands of molas at least. Is this a plan to empty out her inventory? This is simply unreasonable. Obviously, everyone has gained a lot of benefits in the world she lives in through tasks. After all, everyone should treat her to a meal, right? Why is it the other way around? Because you are a landlord. Rimuru blinked. We are guests. When we come to your place, can you not do your best to be a landlord? They say you should do as the Romans do when you're in town, you can definitely invite me. I, she just does as the Romans do, what else can she say? Okay, I'll hold you to death. Ying Mei secretly gritted her teeth and agreed bravely. Anyway, it's just to do a few more adventurers guild tasks. Yeah, Hoshi and Rimuru high-fived and cheered. Cheers to their victory. That's enough for you too. Ying Mei looked at this scene with evil eyes. First of all, we have to make reservations in advance for Xinyue Zan and Luli Pavilion. I can only ask you to go to Wanmin Hall to have a meal. As long as there is food, I'm not picky about food at all. Don't worry, Ying Mei smiled slightly. I will order a slime mushroom for you. It is absolutely delicious. Paimon said it is delicious. Quote dot 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 quote. Rimuru twitched the corner of his mouth. How could he forget this? This time I dug a hole for myself to jump into. Hey, let me tell you. Tony turned and pointed in the direction of Liu Port. Let's go back and talk about it first. Although it feels good to be in the spotlight, it's still a bit weird. The three of them turned to look. The pier, which was originally empty of people, is now packed with people. But Zhang Li and the immortals who were still beside him before were already gone. Apart from the jade pavilions floating in the sky, they are the most eye-catching. Perhaps March will like this scene very much. I don't feel anything at all, after all, I'm used to it. Then let's go. Mo Yu smiled and raised his hand and snapped his fingers, and the golden light flashed away. The figures of everyone disappeared directly into the Yunlai Sea. Let's have a meal first and then take a walk. We still have more than nine hours, which is enough to play. Eat, eat, eat. During the meal, the guests and hosts enjoyed themselves while talking and laughing. For this rare, offline gathering, everyone showed their happy side without reservation. Although this offline gathering was held because of the mission, it does not prevent everyone from treating this mission as a gathering. After three rounds of drinking, well, Ying Mei finally had a glass of wine as she wished. In the past, she was treated as a minor. No matter it was a gift from Angel, or at the Cat Tail Tavern, or if she failed to serve after three bowls, she was not allowed to drink. Even Zhang Li, who knew that his sister was already a big girl, chose to eat rice balls instead of fermented glutinous rice balls. It can only be said that Ying Mei's appearance is very deceiving. At first glance, she is actually a bit childish. Do you have any plans for later? We can stay here for another eight hours. Xing, who had almost eaten, put down his bowl and chopsticks and asked softly. I think it's better to visit Liu Port first. Rimuru raised his hand first. I saw a lot of interesting things during the last live broadcast. I can finally get started this time. I must bring some souvenirs back. I want to go see the adventurers, Gil. Tony touched his chin and said, There are many magical substances in this world, and I want to take some back to study. Are you rich, that is, Mora? Ying Mei raised her eyebrows. Don't tell me that you have to pick my wool when you buy souvenirs. Paimon was the first to disagree. Um, Paimon, whose mouth was full, raised his head slightly, his expression a bit hesitation. After thinking about it, I finally decided not to speak. After all, you have to eat. Hee <laughs> hee, I remember there is a pawn shop in Feiyun Slope, where you can barter things. I have a lot of things in my stomach bag. I should be able to exchange them for a good price. Please ask me to reimburse you for your shopping expenses this time. Rimuru chuckled and patted his belly confidently. Oh. Ying Mei's eyes lit up. Then thank you boss first, I have a lot of things I want to buy. Do I have a share too? Xing asked expectantly. If possible, she would also like to bring some souvenirs back to give to the train crew members. Everyone has a share, Rimuru said proudly. Atmosphere. Tony gave a thumbs up. Hee <laughs> hee, mutual benefit, mutual benefit. Rimuru scratched his head. After all, both Xing and Tony gave him a lot of what he wanted. Relieved his boring daily life. 
This time it's a reward. Mo Yu, do you have any plans? I, Mo Yu thought for a while and then said, I don't really want to buy anything. I'm afraid these few hours won't be enough to do what I want to do. You can just play. What can you do if you only have 8 hours? Use the ancient dragon power of water to understand the ancient dragon power of other elements. Or should we take the opportunity to understand the four governing powers of life, death, time, and space, under the order of heavenly law? Not good enough at all. Small things are meaningless, and there is not enough time for big things. Is it possible to go find a fight with the maintainer? The other party seemed to be in a deep sleep. Want to see the world outside of Tevat? This is somewhat interesting, but it doesn't mean much. And, having said this, Mo Yu glanced in a certain direction outside the window. If our actions are too big, it may cause unnecessary misunderstandings. Everyone suddenly understood. They all nodded in unison, indicating that they understood. Since Ying is a local to a certain extent, she will be wary to a certain extent. What's more, what about guys with unknown origins like them? If it breaks out, the destructive power will be extraordinary. Especially Rimuru and Moyu. If an existence comparable to Mephista, or even surpassing Mephista, causes trouble. Natural disasters are considered a minor problem. Speaking of this, I feel that Rimuru will be a key surveillance target, even more serious than Mayu. Tony pointed at Rimuru and said slightly teasingly. Yes, where are the souls of 20,000 people? Ying Mei also added in time. TCH, Rimuru pouted, this is not something I can control. I would like to complete the promotion through other ways that do not require a soul, but unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to do this now. On. Xing thought for two seconds and asked, Mo Yu, do you think this thing in the void has a soul? Rimuru's eyes suddenly lit up. If the Zuzu thing has a soul. Void Pawn, Mo Yu was stunned, and then said, I'm not sure about this. Most living things have souls. It's just the difference between a large amount and a small amount, complete and defective. What is the difference between a void pawn and something similar to a war weapon? Whether there is or not remains to be discussed. But rather than saying it is a soul, I think it would be more accurate to say it is resentment. Asterisk backquote, it seems to be the same. Rimuru's eyes suddenly lost their luster. And even if there is, the option of traveling through the world has not yet been opened. I can't take the initiative to go to your world to eliminate the void pawns for the time being. This mission came suddenly, and we didn't even figure out the pattern. Who knows when there will be a mission on your side. Alas, trouble, then there's nothing I can do to help. Xing also spread his hands helplessly. Forget it, don't talk about it. It affects your mood. Today is not the time to talk about it. Rimuru patted his cheek, adjusted his mood, raised his hands and shouted. Go go go, go shopping, go shopping, I will pay for all purchases today. Oh, the atmosphere was stirred up again. Several people stood up in unison, walked out of Wanmen Hall under the leadership of Ying and Paimong, and went straight to Feiyun Slope. Don't worry, let's take a step first. Well, go ahead and have fun. Mo Yu nodded slightly and watched everyone heading towards Feiyun Slope. After everyone's figures disappeared from sight, Mo Yu's figure also disappeared. When they gathered together again, they were already under the Falong tree. Inviting me here is not a good idea. Looking at the lonely Zhongli in front of him and the constantly shaking Falong tree, Mo Yu reminded him softly. At this moment, he holds the complete power of the ancient dragon. Even if Ruo Tuo is in the seal, he can still feel it a little bit. The current shaking of the dragon tree is enough to illustrate this point. Zhongli shook his head slightly. When the clouds came to the sea, I felt the changes. It's the same whether you come here or not. Can you feel it from so far away? Why didn't he feel it? Since I am not an ancient dragon, my ability to sense the power of an ancient dragon is not as strong as that of a dragon. This explanation makes sense, after all, this power is not innate. So, the power of the ancient dragon. Zhang Li looked up at the sky, his expression a little solemn and a little sad. It has never been complete since ancient times. After the ancient dragon power was divided, the dragon king of the old era fled to death. The power of the divided part of the ancient dragon power turned into a god's throne and stood in the sky. Under the law of heaven, the Mephista war started, just to divide the seven gods and find a suitable Mephista to ascend the throne of God. 
This defective power replaces the original, heart, and is used to maintain the relative balance of Teyvat. Now, as an outsider, you hold complete authority over the ancient dragon. Strictly speaking, you all possess some characteristics of adventors. Having said this, Zhang Li turned his head slightly. His gilded eyes looked at Mo Yu who was behind him. The emotions in his eyes were quite complicated. A descendant, Mo Yu shook his head lightly. Becoming a descendant is not necessarily a good thing. It's okay if you have enough power to break the boundaries, but if you can't break them, dot hey, it's just firewood. Sure enough, I know. Zhang Li was silent for a moment and then spoke softly. I heard from travelers that you all come from different worlds. That's right, Mo Yu nodded slightly. In addition, we need to correct it. We did not come to Teyvat by traveling through the Sea of Stars. Heavenly law cannot restrict us. You can leave whenever you want. Quote, Zhang Li was silent again. It has to be said that this news was a little difficult for him to digest for a while. There is some kind of existence that is completely beyond the laws of nature. It treats Teyvat as a free playground. When you want to play, you can bring people here if you want to. When you have had enough fun, you can take people away if you want. It's inevitably a bit appalling. No wonder it was stolen. No, it should be a copy. No wonder he was able to complete the reenactment of Ji Yulong's power while talking and laughing. You must know that that is the core authority of the world of Teyvat. After sorting out his thoughts, Zhang Li spoke again. Mr. Mo Yu, can I ask another question? Excuse me, Mo Yu nodded. Zhang Li's expression became extremely serious, even a little nervous. In the early years of ancient times, the War of Burial Fire was a catastrophic event. The entire Teyvat was shattered by this war, and countless ancient civilizations were burned to the ground. It's hard to imagine what kind of disaster it would be if there was another Zhang Li AECG game. Therefore, he urgently needs to know the speed of Mosudavat. I wonder what Mr. Moyu thinks of Teyvat right now. What do you think of Teyvat? I'm asking him what he thinks. Facing Zhang Li's gaze, Mo Yu's lips curled into a smile. Old man, I can understand your mood. I'll just give you some reassurance. I can only say that as long as we are in this world, we will not mess around because we are family. Well, we are a family that loves each other. Although the group doesn't have this old fashioned name. Before Zhang Li could relax, Mo Yu spoke again. The above is a normal attitude, but on the contrary, if one day you are tired of this world for some reason, or even hate this world, we will just sit back and watch. I will most likely smash it with one punch. Although the possibility of the latter is low, it is not completely impossible. Who can say for sure? M. I. Huliu's knife never comes out according to common sense. Although the name of this group mission is Savior. But isn't there another destroyer? It's just that everyone prefers Savior. The biggest reason is because I am in Teyvat. If something really happened that could make Yingya stupid. Let Ying become angry and even hate Teyvat. Guess whether this series of tasks will appear again. Although the probability is not high, it is definitely not zero. Listen to these words. No matter how calm Zhang Li was, he couldn't help but twitching at the corner of his eye. He had no doubt about the authenticity of Mo Yu's words. The gem emitting purple light gave him a far more terrifying feeling than the original maintainer. Destroy the entire planet with one punch. Overwhelming terror. But this situation is already quite good. At least, the probability of nothing happening is still very high. You can barely feel at ease, right? What a fart. The taste of this reassurance pill is a bit strong. Isn't Lung Shenwan enough? Just kidding, we are not demons who are ready to destroy the world. We are all good people. Looking at Zhang Li's strange expression, Mo Yu smiled and waved his hand. They're really good people, well, probably. I want to believe this is the truth. Zhang Li shook his head helplessly. I don't see any intention of Mr. Mo Yu joking at all. But, just take it as a joke. What else could happen? As long as there is a solution to this matter, there will be room for maneuver. The core point is still on the traveler. The future will not be changed easily, and the fate that has been fixed by heavenly law is difficult to shake. However, it is just difficult to shake. There are also blind spots under the gaze of gods. As long as you can seize the opportunity, find the right direction, and use the right method. Nowadays, 
Many people are trying to bypass heavenly law, deceive heavenly law, and even rebel against heavenly law, hoping to achieve the goal of changing their destiny. The longer I live and the more I know, the more I understand how difficult it is. But I just couldn't help but want to try it. Isn't he one of them? Zhang Li looked at the still trembling Falangshu and said warmly. I don't know, can you ask me a favor? Although it is unclear how Mo Yu grew up to such a terrifying situation in his prime, his age cannot lie. Given Morax's age, calling him a week-long friend is enough. For the Rock Dragon King. Mo Yu also looked at Falangshu. Of course, Zhang Li nodded solemnly. We are close friends, but we have to seal him here. It's a twist of fate. The power of the ancient dragon of water has the power to control the water of Tevat's original womb sea. The original womb sea is originally the maternal womb of all living beings in Tevat. I want to borrow a little of its power to relieve my friends of the pain caused by some wear and tear. Does the water of the original womb sea still have this effect? Then why didn't Zhang Li go to Fontaine earlier? Oh, I forgot, not all dragon kings are friendly towards gods. There is no harmony between the dragon king and the dragon king. What's more, the seven gods who stole the ancient dragon's power. Villette had no reason to help Zhang Li. It would be nice not to have a big fight. Hearing this, Mo Yu didn't refuse. He gently raised his hand, and a drop of fluorescent dew slowly emerged. Well, these should be enough. Thank you, Ying, chat in the group, let's go. Easy to say, easy to say, let's move slowly. Eight hours is not a long time. After having dinner together, it is time to part ways. Everyone must come and play often in the future. Paimon is very welcome. Paimon's little face was filled with a smile and he waved his hands vigorously to express his excitement. Definitely, I like Paimon very much too. Rimuru also smiled and gave a thumbs up. Although I don't know when I can come again. Hee <laughs> hee, Paimon was a little embarrassed and scratched his head. After all, she has somewhat impure thoughts. Ying, you have to work hard, the journey is still long. Xing winked at Ying Mei to show encouragement. Don't worry, you two need to work hard. Ying Mei smiled and nodded. The fate of the two people is somewhat similar, and it is inevitable that they cherish each other. I won't say anything unnecessary. If you have any difficulties, remember to come to us as soon as possible. You must know that we are your strongest backing. Tony pushed up his glasses, with the same heartfelt smile on his face. Most definitely, Ying Mei nodded again to express her understanding. Don't be afraid if you encounter trouble, it will be over soon. I'm still looking forward to the next mission. The motive is not pure, it. Don't you want to? Well, well, I can't refute this, I said. Ying Mei squinted her eyes and watched this scene. You guys need to work harder, I've already triggered the mission, don't be too far behind, you can't develop for a long time just by taking advantage of me. It sounds like you planned it carefully. Didn't you also look confused when the mission was triggered? You just said it was triggered but not triggered, right? Okay. Dot you are awesome. Amid everyone's chatting and joking, the countdown came to an end. The mission time is over, the group members return. The notification sound of the chat group sounded, and the figures of the people carrying large and small bags disappeared instantly. There was no sign when it came, and there was no sign when it left. Ah, Ying Mei raised her hand, yawned, and stretched. Paimon, let's go back to sleep. We have to go to the Adventurers Association tomorrow to find tasks to complete. It's not enough to do it quickly. Didn't I just buy a bunch of things today? They are enough for us to use for more than half a year. Paimon expressed some confusion. That's stock, for emergency use. Ying Mei glared at Paimon angrily. If this foodie hadn't been here, would she be like this? Most of the moolah earned went into this guy's belly. Hee <laughs> hee, let's go back to bed quickly. Paimon scratched his head in embarrassment and changed the subject with a guilty conscience. Let's go, MCU, inside the Empire State Building. Mo Yu's figure appeared out of thin air on the recliner. What was your posture before starting the mission and traveling through the past, and what was your posture when you came back? Just outrageous. Obviously he was lying down before passing by, but he was standing after passing by. Before coming back, he was standing, but after coming back, he was lying down. If he hadn't really experienced time travel and gained the complete power of the ancient dragon, Mo Yu would have thought it was an illusion. It's a pity, 
After feeling it carefully, Mo Yu secretly shook his head. He didn't have any clue about the group's time travel. Yu Jian did perceive the fluctuations of time and space, but it was useless to have three senses. That should be an area that he cannot touch for the time being, even if his own mastery of space is strong enough. But still out of reach. Mo Yu gave up thinking about this issue and focused on his own state. Retrieve own status. Searching. Searching completed. Name. Mo Yu. Biological age. 20. Biological gender. Male. Current gene version. Fighting Buddha and Kamigawa Beast Body, New Edition, Ancient Dragon Gene Sequence. Kamigawa Beast Body. Completely immune to ordinary thermal weapon attacks, ignores nuclear weapon strikes, immune to advanced concept rewrites, resistant to large solar flare bombings, unable to resist supernova explosions, invulnerable to god-killing weapons that are not specialized in decomposing super genes. Ancient Dragon Gene Sequence. Analyzing. Equipped with the Dark Plane Combat Engine. Duplication, immobilization, energy burst, fiery eyes, three heads and six arms, law of heaven and earth, star movement, etc. Newly added dark plane combat engines. Elemental engine upgrading, space-time engine not completed, current progress is 88%. New high-level concept rewriter not completed, current progress is 55%. Current equipment. Dark alloy rod, dark alloy armor, somersault cloud. New equipment. Infinite rough stone power, analysis progress, 15%. New timing item. Progress bar, current progress is 46%. Looking at the information listed by the gene engine, Mo Yu frowned. Added ancient dragon gene sequence. Does Gulong Daquan come with its own genetic sequence? What he got was not just the authority of the ancient dragon. Even the elemental dragon king's own dragon gene sequence was obtained. The original womb C was the source of life for Teyvat. Point zero. Comes with the ability to create. In ancient times, life in Teyvat was born from the womb C. It is not surprising that the ancient dragon's power contains some genetic information. Agoria created the Fontaine people with the help of Defective's ancient dragon power and part of the fetal sea water. And Navalette, who holds complete authority, has completely transformed the Fontaine people who were transformed from pure water elves using fetal sea water into human beings. This is the best expression of the power of creation. However, these are not the things that surprise Moyu the most. What Moyu is most concerned about is the progress of time and space and the high-level concept rewriter. Remember before he traveled through time. The progress of the space-time engine was only 69, and now it has become 88, an increase of 19%. The original progress of the high-level concept rewriter only reached 5%. Looking back now, it has increased by 50%. What is the reason for the rapid increase in progress between the two? The power of the ancient dragon may be one of the reasons for the growth of high-level concept rewriters. But it cannot involve the space-time engine. Don't worry about this part of the reason. Apart from these two time travels, there is no other reason. So, even if I didn't catch that specific wave. But it still brought me such a level of benefit. If this happens once or twice again, wouldn't the progress be fully reached? Maybe he can also use this to contact higher levels. What should I do if I suddenly want to come back once or twice? Is sir back? Wanda's voice sounded in the living room, followed by a faint sound of footsteps and some fluctuations of origin magic power. It's me, Mo Yu responded softly. After hearing Mo Yu's voice, Wanda, holding two balls of red light in her hands outside the door, breathed a sigh of relief. Then he gently raised his hand and opened the partition door. Did anything happen in the few hours I left? Seeing Wanda's guarded look, Mo Yu frowned slightly. Yeah, Wanda said helplessly. There's no big trouble, but the flies keep coming. Sir, after you left, there was nothing strange at first. But just an hour ago, Several groups of ordinary people came. They seem to have mastered a strange technology or the ability to bypass and open the defense set up by you, sir, and broke into Pietro's gravity chamber. Pietro then knocked them unconscious and threw them into the trash downstairs. Someone bypassed the defense measures he set up and broke in. That is the protection duly blessed by secret techniques and technology. Did you just barge in so casually? And it's still a bunch of people. Moyu's eyes darkened. Do you know who he is? A bunch of homeless people, 
little gangsters, Wanda pursed her lips. Vagrants and punks. In other words, is it someone who is instigating it? Is there someone behind it? Have you seen the information about the person behind the scenes? This, Wanda recalled for a moment and said softly, I saw it from the homeless man's memory, but he was wrapped tightly and did not reveal his true face at all. Hide your head and show your tail. Wait a minute, let me take a look. Gene Engine starts, press data access to open. His fiery eyes, glowing with fire, scan the dark data of the entire Empire State Building at once. The data screening is completed in an instant, and the target is locked after following the clues. Hydra, Cytricle, Black Magician, Agatha, good guys, when did these two people who couldn't hit each other with eight poles realize that they are one? Dark Data continues to look back. The cause and course of the incident were presented in Moyu's mind in detail. After browsing these dark data, I already feel confident. The reason has to start with his action to take Pepper away from Phil Coulson, and the Ancient One magician taking away Wanda and Pietro from the Hydra experimental base. The former made shield focus on Moyu and began to investigate. The latter caught Cytricle's attention, and Hydra also started to move. When several pieces of information from shield and Hydra were put together. Naturally, the target is the same person. After all, neither Moyu, nor Wanda, nor Pietro had any intention of hiding anything. With the current ability of S.H.I.E.L.D., it is not surprising that these can be found. Cytricle is extremely greedy for this kind of, super ability, or, magic. And plans to recapture the rescued test subjects, Wanda, Pietro. So after getting the S.H.I.E.L.D. investigation information, I contacted Agatha, who is still hiding in London, through a secret line. And after Agatha learned that there was a magician who used his ability unscrupulously in reality. It was also very natural to have the idea of plundering magic power. The two parties hit it off right away. The previous waves were just testing the waters. The means to crack Moyu's defense facilities came from Agatha. I haven't even gone to find you yet, and you're going to send me to your door yourself. Moyu touched his chin, his expression somewhat strange. He doesn't care about HYDRA's little loser. Agatha is somewhat interesting. After all, the other party is one of the high-level beings in the magician group. It has survived centuries ago and has plundered the power of many magicians. The magical power in the opponent's body is definitely not weak. The most important thing is that Agatha also holds the Dark Book of Darkness. This is Moyu's main goal. But the current Wanda is not suitable for contact with the Dark Book, and is too affected by the corruption of the Dark Will. Moyu didn't want to attack Agatha so early. But, now the other party has taken the initiative to send it to his door. It seems a little unreasonable not to accept this great gift, right? Gentlemen, seeing Moyu being silent for a long time, Wanda felt a little uneasy. Did Pietro and I get into trouble? Nothing. Moyu immediately shook his head. The trouble just came to our door. Although the target also includes you and Pietro, it has nothing to do with you. Is it okay? Wanda pursed her lips and said softly, then, what should we do next? Take the initiative. I agree. Pietro, who had changed his clothes, rushed out from behind. Sir, I think we should attack as soon as possible to nip all dangers in the cradle. It's hard to have a stable life. How long has it been since someone came to cause damage? Pietro said he couldn't bear it. How can trouble be avoided? It's very simple, that is to deal with all the people who are going to cause trouble first. This way there will be no more trouble. Okay, Moyu turned around and glanced at Pietro. Okay, you can go. Wanda and I will wait for you at home. We will come back after the problem is solved. Okay, all. Pietro's face lit up with joy, and he subconsciously turned around to start but before he even took a step forward, he froze in place. After realizing a bunch of problems, Pietro turned around awkwardly. Well, I'd better listen to your arrangement, sir. Although I really want to deal with the troublemaker now. But, he doesn't know who he is, he doesn't know where he is, and he might not be able to defeat him. It's a bit embarrassing for a 4.8 inch size. Sit down quietly, Wanda glared at Pietro fiercely. You're the only one who can show off, right? How long does it take for awakening to become super capable before your wings harden and you want to fly to the sky? What, sister, teaches me is to be quiet and sit down, and you talk. Under Wanda's oppression, 
Pietro, who was reduced to love, sat back straight. I have no choice, I don't dare to fight, and I can't even talk about it, so just listen. Otherwise, what else would it be like? Sir, after finishing Pietro, Wanda said softly. It's up to you to decide. Pietro and I will follow Mr. S. Arrangements. No rush, Moyu waved his hand. The most important goal has not been reached yet, we can just wait and see. Wait for her to come and solve it once and for all. Sir, if you are just defensive, wouldn't you be too passive? Pietro scratched his head, seeming a little worried. In this way, the initiative is in the hands of the other party, which seems to be disadvantageous to us. That Agatha, I believe she will not be your opponent, sir. But Hydra guys also have many high-ranking people in the government. If they mobilize special forces to encircle and suppress us, and let us have a head-on conflict with the military, what should we do? The state apparatus is undoubtedly terrifying. Planes, tanks, warships, missiles and even nuclear bombs. In a head-on confrontation with a Wuchang rogue country, Pietro was secretly feeling numb even with his super ability. What Pietro said makes sense. S.H.I.E.L.D. is very unhappy with him, and Hydra is ready to take action again. The military people didn't move for the time being because of Tony, but it was impossible to say that they didn't want to move at all. If Hydra takes the lead in breaking the checks and balances of many parties, there will be a lot of trouble in the future. Mo Yu doesn't care. Anyway, if you throw the stick towards the White House, you have to be honest with me no matter how dishonest you are. If you are not honest, change people until you are honest. Although killing to stop killing is convenient, having too many flies is a bit disgusting. Noisy and clean, but these don't seem to be the main reasons. Seeing Pietro's restless look, Moyu raised his eyebrows. He raised his hand and lightly snapped his fingers, and a portal directly to Sokovia suddenly opened. You are responsible for taking care of the snake nest in your hometown. Are you sure about it? Hearing this, Wanda and Pietro looked at each other and nodded. We're fine. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. Moyu raised his hand, and the enemy's information was immediately transmitted to the two people's minds. The people on the list are all Hydra people. Don't be lenient. If you don't have the heart to do it, just let them kill each other. As for the rest, you can make your own arrangements. Take the current abilities of Wanda and Pietro. Taking down a Hydra den is completely stress-free. The only obstacle is, this is the first actual battle between the two. Just rest assured, sir, we will do a great job. Hydra are a group of crazy and inhumane guys. I won't have any mental barriers when they take action. Pietro bumped his fist and said confidently. It sounds nice, but when you actually put your hands to it and end each living person with your own hands. I hope you are still so confident. Mental fantasy and actual practice are two completely different concepts. We'll try, probably. Wanda clenched her little fists to cheer herself up. Don't talk down at this time, Wanda. Pietro waved his fist. Don't worry, I will protect you. I don't need your protection, you should take care of yourself. Wanda rolled her eyes. Pietro said he was very sad after being criticized by Wanda. The soft and cute little sister before will never come back. Especially after ability awakening, Wanda seems to have become a bit domineering without even realizing it. Well, maybe just for him. After all, he was extremely polite and gentle to both Moyu and the vendors on the street. He only looked fierce towards him. Did he commit any crime? Hard clam. Sir, shall we set off then? Well, safety comes first. Well, Pietro, follow me quickly. Okay. Pietro sighed and followed Wanda's steps across the teleporters. Sokovia, the suburbs. He's back. Looking at the distant town, Wanda felt a little lost. Zhang Jin's home is here, but everything is gone. Only she and Pietro were left to support each other, struggling to grow up. Pietro was silent, leaning against the tree trunk behind him, with his arms folded, his expression slightly silent. It's very different from the confident look when I came here. Maybe we shouldn't come, if we want revenge. After a long silence, Pietro slowly spoke. Those United States dogs deserve to die. I even wanted to rush into the White House and kill all those dirty politicians. Shoot those who started the war one by one. We have a chance, Wanda. Wanda was slightly silent. If you thought about it, you wouldn't choose to come back. If you want to, I directly agree with Mr. Zung's strategy, 
Just wait and see for things to develop. Then they can naturally. Wanda, do you think? Mister can see it. Pietro smoothed his hair and turned to look in the direction where the portal disappeared. Have no idea. Wanda shook her head slightly and turned to face the fortress behind the ridge. I feel like I can tell. Pietro stretched. Pietro. Wanda's eyes flashed red. This is our own choice. We already have a new home, don't we? Definitely, that is a life that was unimaginable before. Pietro twisted his neck and made a crisp sound. So, anyone who dares to break this is an enemy. I went first, Wanda. A smile appeared at the corner of Pietro's mouth, and the residual image slowly dissipated, revealing that he had already broken into the fortress in an instant. In half a second, all monitoring and power supplies inside the fortress were cut off. In less than two seconds, all the guards on the periphery lost their life breath with 120 vertebrae broken and died silently. There wasn't even time to sound the alarm. And Pietro's offense still hasn't stopped. The extremely fast one shows his ferociousness for the first time. Do you want me to hang zero? Perceiving the scene happening on the mountain, Wanda was angry and funny. Scarlet light suddenly covered both hands, the fingers were slightly spread, the wrist bones overlapped, and a scarlet-colored magic circle quickly formed between the fingers. Strong magic waves instantly spread toward the top of the mountain. Scarlet light gradually enveloped the entire mountain peak. Wanda suddenly opened her hands, and the formed magic circle turned into two bracelets and put them on her wrists. Pietro, if you don't come out, you will be crushed by me too. Wanda suddenly raised her hands, and an extremely violent roar and vibration came at the same time. The mountain peak wrapped in origin magic power was directly pulled up from the ground by Wanda. Do you want to be so cruel? Pietro's figure suddenly appeared next to Wanda. Looking at this ferocious scene, I could only raise my hand and touch the bridge of my nose. It shouldn't exist here. Wanda's eyes narrowed and her hands instantly gathered together. A buzzing sound sounded, the mountain that Wanda pulled out of the ground. In an instant, it was squeezed by origin magic power into a clod with a diameter of less than 10 centimeters. Poor Mr. Cytricle, remember to say hello to Satan for me. Looking at the scene in front of him, Pietro smacked his lips. He felt that his output method was violent enough. But compared with Wanda, it seems that she is not good at cooking. Although this mountain has been hollowed out a lot by Hydra, it still has some weight after all. When you hold your hands like this, it feels as easy as kneading dough. Pietro, or any of the people on the list still alive. After dispersing the magic circle in her hand, the scarlet light in Wanda's eyes gradually receded. Although the dimensionality reduction attack was carried out on hundreds of people at once, Wanda did not seem to be at all uncomfortable. Yes, Pietro responded softly. There are about 20 more people on the list, scattered around the city. Do you want to find them? Find it out. Wanda nodded without hesitation. Wait for me for 20 seconds, Pietro nodded and his figure disappeared again. 20 seconds passed by in a flash, and Pietro's figure reappeared, holding a person in his hand. I've got it, but there is bad news, there are seven missing. This guy should know something. I come, Wanda asked and raised her hand, and a ray of red light disappeared into the other person's mind. After getting the information he wanted, Tien nodded towards Pietro. Based on time, they should have just arrived at JFK airport now. Understood. Pietro's figure flashed, and the person in his hand had disappeared. Walk. Wanda raised her hand and swiped, the door of the secret method opened, and the two of them raised their feet and entered their lives. The next day, some special news appeared in the newspapers. An earthquake occurred in Sokolia, and a mountain was completely destroyed. A series of murders occurred in the city. The identity of the deceased was unknown, and the murderer remained a mystery. A homicide was discovered at JFK Airport. Seven foreign tourists from different countries died in the hotel. Under diplomatic pressure, the mayor of New York issued an arrest warrant and the arrest was successfully made. I have to say, it's a bit ridiculous. But it's quite real. Sir, will that Agatha come again? Wanda walked out of the kitchen carrying dishes and chopsticks and looked at the news on TV and asked uncertainly. She and Pietro took Citricle's lair and eliminated the Hydra members who were supposed to be on the street with Agatha. Theoretically speaking, the other party should also be aware of it. In this case, will she really come? 
I also feel a little hung up. Pietro scratched his chin while holding the milk. She will come. Moyu spoke softly. If it were other magicians, they might weigh the pros and cons, but Agatha is different. In order to ensure that she does not age and maintain her own strength, she needs to regularly hunt lone and marginalized magicians to rob them of their magic power. Magicians generally cannot easily interfere with the operation of the real world. This can be regarded as an unwritten rule. If you just mess around with a little bit of power, the real world would have been in chaos. So, once a magician does this, they will basically be warned and expelled. In serious cases, they may even be tried and deprived of their magic power. The commotion I made with you before, in Agatha's opinion, is undoubtedly a lone magician who broke the rules, was expelled, and is no longer protected by the magician group. In addition, there are also wild magicians who get a chance and accidentally embark on the path of magicians. But no matter which one it is, it is undoubtedly the best hunting target. She won't let this feast go. Hearing what Moyu said, Wanda was slightly startled. The hands untying the apron paused for a moment, and said in a panic. Well, sir, what we did before, didn't we break the rules? The drama she and Pietro had caused in Sokovia and JFK airport was not small. Proper chaos. It's okay to cause trouble for her and Pietro, but don't worry if you get involved. Don't think too much. Moyu shook his head nonchalantly. I've said it's just an unwritten rule, applicable to large magician groups. We don't belong to Kamar Taj yet. We just have an implicit alliance with the Ancient One magician. We can barely be considered wild magicians. In addition, as long as the power is strong enough, no one will make irresponsible remarks. There is a background, there is no background, there is power, there is no power. When faced with these bad things, there are two completely different treatments. The weak follow the rules, and the strong make the rules. The laws of the material world basically have no effect on magician groups. Although I don't take the initiative to break it at ordinary times, when necessary, it is nonsense. The rules of the material world are worthless in the mystical world. You talk to Dormammu about the rules. Or talk about morality with Mephitis. Or go to Arisum from the god group to talk about the law. The earth and even humans have become a breeding ground for members of the celestial group. See if they will pamper you. Want to eat. On the mysterious side, it all depends on strength. The winner is the king and the loser is the law of the jungle. It's that simple. Backquote, that's good. Wanda breathed a sigh of relief and sat gently on the chair. Then, sir, can you let me take care of that Agatha? I want to try a magician on magician battle. Hearing this, Moyu glanced at Wanda in surprise. Quite motivated. After thinking for a moment, Moyu nodded. Okay, I can let you try it out first. It's also a good choice to use her as your whetstone. Wanda's upper and lower limits are both high. But the time of awakening is still too short after all. Although I have been studying systematically for a period of time under his guidance. But compared to a centuries-old monster like Agatha, her experience is far behind. Okay. Okay, it doesn't matter if you try it. Anyway, with him in charge, if something goes wrong, he will naturally take action in time. What about me? Pietro put down his cup and looked at Moyu expectantly. You, Moyu said without raising his head, just be responsible for beating her rabbit. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. A bunch of question marks popped up above Pietro's head. Hunting what? Rabbit. That soft, cute, white chubby, little, rabbit. Just kidding. Don't underestimate any seemingly harmless creature, whether it's a rabbit or a cat, or any other animal. If you are careless, you may die at someone's hands. Moyu explained calmly. The cuter and weaker it looks, the more dangerous it is. I see. Pietro took a deep breath and cheered up. I will be careful. At the same time Wanda and Pietro were discussing how to fight. An extremely subtle wave came. At the same time as this wisp of breath emerged, the energy concentration in the space dropped sharply. Moyu and Wanda suddenly turned back and looked out the window. A dark aura emerged out of thin air and began to attack the defense measures set up by Moyu. What's wrong? It was found that the two of them turned their heads and looked outside. Pietro, whose perception of magical energy was not as good as the two, was a little confused. Don't just exercise your muscles, you should also practice magic when you have time. Haven't you noticed that the enemies are coming? 
Wanda turned around and glared at Pietro fiercely. Quote, quote, Pietro turned around to look, and the world outside the window suddenly became a little dark. In the space, black mist filled the air. There are also ghost-like spirits that are constantly biting. In the mist in the distance, you can vaguely see a figure wrapped in dark magic. Come so fast, Pietro's whole body tensed up and he clenched his fists unconsciously, eager to try. Something's wrong. Watching this scene, Wanda frowned. This seems to be a magic ceiling circle. Magic ceiling array. Pietro, who was about to attack, was slightly startled. What magic ceiling array? Let you learn more. Wanda sighed helplessly. The magic ceiling circle, as the name suggests, is a magic circle that can seal magic. Within the magic ceiling circle, other magicians except the caster will be sealed. The limitations of the magic circle. The magic power will gradually be blocked by the magic circle. The more violent the resistance, the faster it will be blocked. Once you are trapped by the magic ceiling circle, you are almost like a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. The trapped magician can only break through the situation violently if his strength is far superior to the magician. Besides, that's troublesome. Before Wanda could finish her words, Pietro couldn't help but said, we were tricked before we even took action. You shut up. Wanda glared at Pietro. I didn't say it couldn't be solved. What do you mean by being tricked? It's obvious that this guy fell into the trap. Wait for me. Wanda seems to have become a little competitive. As the words fell, origin magic power exploded, and the whole person rushed directly outside. Boom, there was an explosion, and the floor-to-ceiling windows were shattered to pieces. The spirits that were chewing on the defensive formation outside were also shattered by Wanda's blast. The method of casting a spell is called violence. Forehead, looking at the floor-to-ceiling windows that were violently dismantled by Wanda, Pietro carefully turned his head and glanced at Moyu, his expression a little complicated. She used to be very well behaved, I swear. It's just that after awakening it seems a little. Doc can you understand? Um, Moyu raised his eyebrows. Before he could say anything, Pietro's figure had already disappeared. Looking at the confrontation between the scarlet magic power and the dark magic power outside, Moyu calmly took out a tissue and wiped his mouth. The next second, the purple halo spread, and the space around him shattered. Moyu's figure also disappeared. At the same time, in a dark red space, an old man, holding a walking stick was drawing something with one hand raised. Ahead is the node between the hell dimension and reality. At this moment, this node is experiencing some fluctuations. Under its interference, the space node in front of him gradually became unstable. A gap into reality seems to be opening. You burrowing mouse, you can stop your actions. The sudden sound interrupted the other party's movements, causing him to turn around slowly. Oh, it turns out to be Mr. Magician of Kamar Taj. What do you want from me? The old man turned around slightly with his hands on the crutches. When he saw the magic circle wrapped around Mo Yushin's body, a smile appeared on his face and he said kindly. If you can help me, please tell me. Sorcerer Supreme Ancient One Magician and I are old acquaintances. If I can help, I will help. That's just right. I really have something I want to ask you for help with. Mo Yu twisted his wrist. No matter what benefits Agatha promised you, your deal is now void. If you have any objections, you can say it now, Mephitis. Tear up the contract. Mephitis still had a smile on his face. The contract is sacred, Mr. Magician. As a magician, you should know this. You have no right to interfere. Really, Mo Yu smiled lightly and said, then you should know that no dimension can invade the real dimension. This is also a sacred rule. What were you doing just now? It's just out of curiosity. Mephitis said calmly. I think Mr. Magician will not interfere with other people's interests and hobbies, right? Really? Mo Yu nodded slightly, and then said, I really can't control this, but my notice is in place, please execute it. Mr. Magician, Mephitis's face changed slightly. Execute, or I will enforce it. Mo Yu clenched his fist, and the deep purple light once suppressed the deep red color of this space. The terrifying fluctuations belonging to the Power Stone spread unbridled. Power Stone, Mr. Magician, have you considered the consequences of breaking the rules wantonly? Mephitis almost gritted his teeth and said, I haven't thought about it. Mo Yu curled his lips and said, Dimension Mephista and the devil never talk about trust. 
What a coincidence, I never talk to you unreasonably. Are you sure you want to fight me? The earth is a tough nut to crack, and Mephista from other dimensions cannot be absolutely sure not to mess around, but a dimension lord who was seriously injured by the power stone should be able to easily tear off a few pieces of fat. Bar. Would you like to try it? Mephitis's face turned blue with anger. That's too much to bully. When did Kamar Taja's magician become so overbearing? Can you do whatever you want with unlimited rough stones in hand? The ancient one holding the time stone has already made the scalps of Mephistas in many dimensions numb. Now here comes someone who is even more unreasonable. Can this day be passed? If you rashly break the balance of the dimension, wait for the dimension Mephista to join forces to attack you. Under the threat of the power stone, Mephitis took out a piece of parchment and lit it on fire with a look of hatred. After leaving a harsh word, it turned into a burst of black smoke and dissipated in the flame hell. Run away now. Looking at the parchment that turned to dust, Moyu shook his head slightly. I wanted to have a fight. Unfortunately, this guy is too cautious. As for dimensions Mephista united. It would be a joke for guys who are each eager to devour the other to really unite. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.